<laughs> I got my spin drift, y'all. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, uh, that was, that was what, what, a, what a way to begin, huh? With the with a critical twenty sound. Uh, okay, so hi. <laughs> Did you not know that played? Well, that was no. amazing. No, no. I thought it was an amazing intro. I was just blown that's away. That's a great by, way. To, uh, that's a great way to come in. Though. Yeah. Oh, it, it just it appeared through the uh, the Twitch thing. I had the my volume up, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> there we go. Crit 20 to begin. Let's That's how go. you know this is going to be a good night of D&D. Hello, everybody. My name is Herbert Thompson, uh, and uh, I am usually the district manager, uh, the DM for NPC Incorporated, which is our actual play 5th edition D&D podcast. Where we've taken our favorite rules and parts of the classic tabletop role-playing game and mapped them over our own mundane realm, Following the adventures of four co-workers who work a warehouse job in a fantasy version of Chicago, 1989. It is an exciting night because we're doing our once a month live stream. This one's a little postponed, but it's been a busy summer. And we're also celebrating our one year anniversary. Whoa, so uh, the narrative of our show has been going now for officially one year. Uh, it has been a lot of fun. Uh, we hope that you've been tuning into the podcast. If not, if you've just been following our adventures live streaming, uh, this is a great time to get involved in the podcast. It's a ton of fun. Uh, it's getting really good. Uh, I'm really excited for some of the things we have coming oh up. Oh my god, and, it's so fun. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll not give any spoilers for the fun things and surprises we have coming up. Uh, in particular, our very special next episode. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, what we're here for tonight is to play a little D&D to celebrate our year anniversary. Uh, so this is in our mandatory work outing. And for this one, we are doing a little adventure that we have all cooked up together that we're titling The Return to Party Castle. So before we begin, let's go around the table and introduce our players tonight. Hi, I'm Sadie Lancrete from the stream. <laughs> <laughs> The one you're watching. <laughs> and also from the body of water. Yeah, I, I just got out of a stream. Nice. I had so many leeches on me, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm losing a lot of blood <laughs> very fast. We got to hurry up then. Uh, hi, my name is Meadow K. Lilium, she, her pronouns. I am also from the stream and the podcast. Ooh. Oh, I'm also in the podcast. You're on the podcast. Also, also share your pronouns. <laughs> We're on our top of our game tonight. Hey, what's up? It's me, Liz Getty from the stream. I'm the little witch that lives in there. Um, my pronouns are they, them. And I'm also from the podcast. <laughs> just like us <laughs> it's always like, like you all have something in common that you know <laughs> something in common like you've all been on a show together for a year i don't think it's that i think it's that we all came out of a street it's almost like that but it's, it's almost like we all it's not came quite out of the street. yeah yeah i got it i got you <laughs> uh, we also want to give a shout out to to the one cast member who could not be here tonight our very own brandon kirkman who plays matt meat on the podcast um uh you probably have not gathered this because we recorded a bunch of episodes before the summer really got kicking uh and because brandon has been taking some paternity leave uh Ooh. he and his wife barbara recently had their first daughter, Faye, uh, who you might have seen that slide pass by in the uh, the the, 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 um, the pre-roll, but it will pop up at some point when we're either taking our intermission Very or cute. in the midst. So uh, uh, we, 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 we say hello Adorable. to the whole human family. Uh Yay. And uh, yeah, so not here tonight, but for a very good reason. Um, Absolutely. Baby. Uh, baby. So uh, speaking of baby, are you babies ready to get started with some D&D? &D? <laughs> I am baby and I am ready. Okay, I'm cool, cool, cool. that milk, dude. Let's uh, go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Uh, that that was really that really ruined uh, the that was the moment that uh, Faye Kirkman popped up on the screen. <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. no. If that's, Welcome if to that's, Earth. Well, <laughs> if that's if that's how Faye's like vibe is, I mean, like blessed. She's already uh, one of us. 
<laughs> already one of us. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, okay, right. so let's get started, shall we? So we this shall. adventure is entitled The Return to Party Castle. So you all know that existing in this world somewhere in an extra dimensional space is a building of legend known as the Party Castle. The Party Castle is uh, seemingly some sort of extra dimensional area with doorways and venues linking to every wild party that this world has to offer. The sort of owner of this party castle and manager, if you will, uh, is a man by the name of Danto Inferni. And from the heights and keeps of the party castle, he lords over all festivities that are happening at any given time. His space acting as a sort of limitless crossroads for celebrations uh your characters have all had interactions with this character in the past with danto and fernie uh you were brought forth into the party castle a previous time you know him to be a bit of a trickster uh but you also know that through the doors of the many winding hallways of this magical this magical castle there is always a good time to be found and for reasons you cannot explain, you suddenly find yourself on its doorstep once again. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Hey. Did I get hit by a truck in another life again? No. Here? I don't think we got isekai this time. Uh, I think... Um, I still don't know what so... <laughs> it means that... That was it... for you, Mal. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. No, um, so I think what happened is last time we were here, I did hook up with Dracula and he was getting really weird about commitment. Oh and I was crazy. like, I cannot, I cannot get tied down right now. I cannot be Dracula Jr.'s stepmom. And I think he got really mad and maybe he's like pulling us back in. I don't know. Oh, that's so hard. I know. It's like, let it go. Yeah. Uh, you know? Could you uh, all take a moment to describe how your char your fantasy <laughs> versions of yourselves that you're playing in this uh, oh, one yeah, absolutely. are dressed? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, fantasy Meadow is um, not at all like me. Uh, is about like uh, four foot eight with uh, six inch bunny ears. <laughs> like just very cute, adorable. Um, and just, you know, wearing, wearing some real cute, real cute garb and, uh, just taking every opportunity she can to like do little cantrips, little magical cantrips. That's very fun. Whimsical, uh, if you will. <laughs> oh, we will. We will get whimsical. Um, fantasy Sadie is five, eight which is four inches taller than real life Sadie, because that's my <laughs> ultimate fantasy is to be exactly four inches taller than I am. We're Dreams do come true. I'm, I'm doing stretches and it's not helping. No, I'm um, sorry. But no, uh, fantasy Sadie is a half elf. Um, I'm dressed like pretty cool. I'm imagining I'm still wearing jeans. Yes. <laughs> but, but they're fantasy jeans. Otherwise, I look like me, except for my ears are a lot pointier. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Fantasy Liz <laughs> is uh, exactly Liz right now. Uh, they've got overalls on and a very cool big straw hat, and um, they have they have like a a bag with them, and out of it you can see peeking like. A loaf of bread and there's a bunch of lumps that just look like probably a bunch of vegetables uh and they're wearing crocs that are very cool and yes. uh big glasses that are dirty and need a new prescription <laughs> and um and no weapons because somebody forgot to put weapons on their character sheet and also weapons are dangerous I do have a knife in true. my pocket. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count as a weapon. I've got tons of swords, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> swords, just like in real life. 
<laughs> covered, yeah, covered in <laughs> bristling with weaponry, as Sadie bristling always with is. Weaponry. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you're sort of just like walking through the stone hallways of this castle. Uh, every, you know, just a couple of feet, there's a new door. All the doors look different. wooden glass one here does this feel it feels weird right there's a certain like quietness i'm not sure what that means yeah i'm gonna roll a check if you'd like yeah I'm yeah gonna do a perception check first here. roll of the game oh what's it gonna be it's a 13. <laughs> nice i'm uh, i'm gonna join in the perception go yeah. for it uh, it's a 15. Ooh, it's a 13 as well. Very consistent. Uh, uh, so with a 15 through 13, uh, what we get is a, uh, a you can sort of say, uh, yeah, and there is something definitely different. Now, for one, as you walk by the doors, you don't hear anything happening on the other side, whereas previously you heard the uproarious sound of partying going on as you walked through the hall. Hmm. Is it under, is, I don't know. Do they do like, does Danto do like maintenance? I think he'd have to, but I feel like all of the rooms at once. That's kind of weird. What, it, are we, are we early? What time uh, is it? Look for, every <laughs> for every party? For every party? I don't, I don't know. Where is Danto anyway? Doesn't he usually greet us out on the like stuff? He does. He's usually here to like be weird and oh, cryptically weird. invite us into his abode. So Hello. as you keep walking down the hallway, calling out as you are, uh, uh, you Danto. step into a large middle room. Uh, this middle room is sort of a like a, it's just you know kind of nexus at this part this party castle, which is very labyrinthian in its uh, construction. Hard to tell where you always are, uh, but this room is large windows looking out over some distant forest and uh, uh, like a huge huge door on one end that's flanked on your side by large golden statues uh, depicting uh, none other than Dante and Fernie himself uh, uh, cheersing with glasses uh, and in the middle there is a sunken floor it's a dance floor like almost like the area is a large ballroom slash lobby I was going to say that feels self-indulgent, but if anyone was going to be self-indulgent, it would definitely be Danto. He's earned it. He, he um, has. He's the king of every party, but... Any signs of life? Uh, uh, you, you, uh, you can hear music, and you see that in a distant corner of the ballroom, kind of sunken dance floor, there is a man who's back to you playing piano. Nice. Okay, I, since that's the first like person, I'm like, okay, there is someone else here. Maybe okay. they know where Danto is. Let's go talk to them. Absolutely. So I leave you, us there. You approach, walking on the on the dance floor. Your your, your uh, feet making a sort of loud, echoing sound as you walk along. Unless you're trying to be stealthy. Uh, I'm not. I'm wearing yeah. Knocks. It's fine. Uh, yeah, clunk, clunk, clunk. You walk up behind the figure. Uh, it sort of stops playing and turns around. You can see that uh, it is Danto Inferni. Uh, he's taken off his no his, uh, normal green jacket and has slung it over the bench next to him. And he's just sort of wearing a, a button-up shirt. And he's sort of has a very sad look on his face. Uh, he's a human-appearing man, though, you know, he's certainly not human. Uh, uh, he has sort of dark hair slicked back, uh, and, uh, a, a long pointed beard. Um, and as he sees you approach, he says, oh, well, I have bad news. If you're here for a party, there aren't any going on. Is Don't this tell... set up for an April Fool's party? Oh, it's not today, April 1st. I mean, hmm. shit. This, this is some sort of really deep cut prank, a long term kind of thing. Ugh. You look, I'm going to say it, you look boring. Oh, I know. What's up? What? What's going on? Well, 
I've been locked out of my party castle. I mean, well, I'm still in it, but locked out of the portion of it from which I draw my marvelous powers. I have nothing. I can't do anything. Look at this. Oh. You're just moving your hands. I know. It's nothing. Oh. Man, I'm sorry. Is was there anything we could do to help? Yes, that is uh, oh, what I was hoping you could help me with. I'm, I'm here to help you get the help that we came here to help you with. Oh, the party castle does provide, doesn't it? Uh, and from his pocket, he takes a flask out uh, and he unscrews the top and starts to drink from it. I guess the party's still going. <laughs> he says, well, I'm not going to just sit here sober. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> That's our Danto. <laughs> uh, and you see That's... that as he... As he drinks from the flask, a rune on the side of it glows. Oh, and he puts it. That's so, okay. well, I don't know if you have any ideas on how to restore my marvelous magic powers, but I am all ears. Well, you've tried drinking a big glass of water and taking a nap. No, <laughs> but as a last resort, possibly. <laughs> The the nap plan is uh that's that's the big red button I guess. Um, yes, if I go to sleep, I might die. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I have a lot of concussions. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well. Okay. Really big red button then. Um, well, I'm out so, of ideas. Truly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Liz Getty guarantee. Oh. So. Well, we gotta get your powers back, right? That's uh, a good idea, Sadie. How do you... I, will... <laughs> I was not sarcastic. That's just my tone. Okay. He does, cool. so he does honest. just sound like that. I sort of lilt up on the edge of every word. <laughs> you, I, listen, it's just, it's, you, I we gotta get your magical... Ideas. Yeah, you gotta get your magical powers back because without your magical powers, you sounding like that, it's just a bit of a jerk tone. We can't Goodness have you sounding sake. like a dick. <laughs> you, oh, jeez. Like, Do I sound like a dick? You kind of sound like a boring dick right now. And, like, that's oh. not that's not a reflection on you. That's not a reflection on you as a person. Because oh. we know that you're a very, like, whimsical trickster. But, like, without we your magic. Meadow, Meadow, we, we can't kick, kick him while he's down. You're really no. kicking me in the ribs quite a bit, metaphorically. So what we're going to do, <laughs> metaphorically, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get your powers back. We're going to find your, what are you, what, what are you missing? I don't even know. I, I just, I can't get back into my special magic room. You got well, keys? Oh, yeah, you, so yeah, do you have keys to your magic room? The keys are missing. Well then, let's usually, go. They usually write the here on my bracelet. Do you have... Well then, let's so, go uh, look through some rooms. Not... Let's go find them. Yeah. Where were you last with your keys? Yeah, where were you last? I simply can't remember. Perhaps if you helped me try. Uh, yeah, okay. let's retrace your steps. And he stands up, kind of wobbling a little bit. And says, "I was here, I think. Mm-hmm. I just come back from a party from there, I think." Wait, let's oh, yeah. go there then. Mm, yeah, let's go down this hole. <laughs> yeah, uh, listen, uh, hey, uh, we're and, gonna try he, every door if we need to. Then he claps his hands twice like that, and you sort of hear like a distant honking and a rustling as a large Canadian goose flies down and lands in his arms. Yay. I go like, "Holy shit! Uh, oh, is that a uh, goose?" Yes, my pet goose, Mordecai. You're not familiar. No, oh, Mordecai, yeah. I, oh God. I honk, honk. That. Oh, duh. <laughs> and the goose says honk, honk when he says Oh honk, God, honk. Mordecai, yeah. No, I remember. Um, is, is the goose going to have to travel with us? I'm not going to leave my goose here unattended. You know what? You're right. That's totally fair. That's um, poor goose I, ownership. <laughs> that's totally can fair. Can I give it a little kiss on the head? Because I Please. love it. <laughs> Roll an <laughs> animal handling check. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this. Oh my god! 
That's a twento, baby. Oh, oh my god, it's a natural goes. twenty. I a natural twenty for kissing a goose. A on natural, the head. yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. I can't believe our first critical roll of the night is on a kissing a goose kiss check. Goose uh, kiss. Let's see with it with it with a natural twenty on that check. What I'm going to say is that uh, uh, you you can tell that uh, uh, while Danto has definitely lost his magical powers. This goose still reeks of uh, lingering arcane energy. Oh. Ooh. I would also uh, useful kiss goose. goose. <laughs> Go ahead, you can kiss the goose unless you really want to roll. I will let this be that natural twenty be a anyone can kiss the goose. I'd like challenge. to kiss the goose and cast beast bond with the goose. <gasps> okay. Oh. What does that do? Uh, it establishes a telepathic link. Um. <laughs> with a beast that I touch or kiss that is friendly to me or charmed. Um, uh, the, uh, the spell fails if it's smarter than four. Um, I, I can understand te- and relay telepathic messages to it. And we can talk about, we can communicate through emotions and the beast gets advantage on attack rolls against any creature within five feet of me that I can wow. see. Wow. All right. That's a well, okay. Spell. It's very good. So how long does that last? Uh, up to 10 minutes and I have to call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have Mark, Mark off the spell slot. You have 10 minutes of real, real, real connection with this goose. <laughs> I, have, I just want to understand it's emotional. Needs. That's real great. <laughs> Uh, it's um, a lot. It's a lot about wanting to be in a pond. It's a lot about um, eating bugs and grass. I I tell him about the stream I came from. <laughs> um, Hong Kong I, loves yeah, it. Kong loves <laughs> I'm 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 not kissing a goose. That thing will bite me. Yes. No offense. It might. <laughs> I'll no kiss offense. the goose again. I'll take yours. <laughs> <laughs> we spend all night. I think, that, I think that twenty. Let's. I think that twenty. Let's say he kiss the goose all I night. I get to kiss the goose. <laughs> yeah, you get to kiss the goose all night. You have free goose kiss action. Yeah, yeah. You can usually do that as a reaction during uh, during like, any round. Uh, all right. So uh, as we all kiss the geese and have a little bonding session with them. Uh, uh, you also, uh, uh, say, Liz, uh, anything we want to ask the goose if you have a, this, this deeper bond with it? Yeah, um, I want to see if maybe the goose knows where the keys are, or, like, what's going on, goose? Do you feel weird in here? Um. And the goose says, it's in your head, they, a shadowy figure took the keys. (gasps) The keys are not. Thanks. <gasps> so, well, so who's does anyone else like hang out in the castle, or is it? There's a lot of people hang out in the castle. It's a party castle. Well, but like, who would who would do a dastardly deed such as that? <laughs> oh, that's actually um, somewhat of a long form question. I guess I'd say. <laughs> There's a you don't run a party castle like I have for so many years and not make some enemies. You make a lot of enemies running a party castle? If you yes. Do, just be friends. <laughs> no, sometimes people are horrible at parties and they have to be kicked out or uh, you know, some people hate parties. There's a lot of party poopers out there and they they are certainly still welcome to visit the castle if they can keep themselves from pooping. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I have many enemies that uh, might seek to destroy my magical b- abilities. That's fair. All my right. nemesis. Oh, the... Who are top three? Name them. Top three. Um, the the Downer twins. That's what two, I guess. Um, the Baron is my arch nemesis. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, I tried to make a robot once to party, and the robot turned evil, so I had to what? lock it in a room. <laughs> And any sort of lingering malignant spirits or mm. elemental chaos demons, the devil, mm. the uh, devil. <laughs> I grasped the crucifix I'm wearing around my neck. I've got to say, fantasy Sadie is not. very religious. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <fucking> lie. <laughs> I 
cross All myself right. quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, as you draw your crucifix, I'm following Danto to, <laughs> like, wherever he went on the last party. Because, yeah, like, uh, well, if it, if you have this many enemies, we got to figure out who it is so we can get your party back. Because, like, if you're in this mud if you're in this deep with this much like this many people if they get word that you're out of magic power they could all come for you mm. oh shit that's a good point uh oh <laughs> yeah oh really gotta get you those magic powers back it's really not helping your tone <laughs> <laughs> oh no and he puts the flask back in his pocket <laughs> what is uh, that <laughs> oh this is a flask full of tequila and that's it yeah and the rune? Oh, that makes it refill itself. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ah, all right, there we go. <laughs> nice. Anybody want some tequila? <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I'll, I'll, I'll wait on later in the night. I'll. Sadie? I'm I'm I won't it. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I yeah. don't want you to not wait. All so right, as, I as in real wait. life, if anyone offers me tequila at any time, I will say yes. <laughs> Breakfast, Please, tequila. Enjoy. Enjoy. No, that's why people, people have to offer it to me, though. So I'm not going to seek it uh, out. I'm getting like over a, to your apartment like at 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm the tequila <laughs> vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be invited to drink the tequila. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he sort of head down his hallway where Dante was last night. And he stops and he says, hmm, hmm this isn't right. These aren't the doors that were here last night. I'm not trying to rhyme. That was accidental. Uh it's, it's kind just, of working for you. Yeah, it's natural. For I don't you. want to be that kind of trickster guy. That's well, fair. Um, it's hard to keep up. I'm not a, a natural wordsmith, for sure. And without my powers, I can't even balance it out by shooting fireworks from my hat. I want to look at these doors. What do these doors look like? Um. Uh. Well, why don't uh, you each take a turn describing the doors? Yeah. Sadie, what's the first door look like? The first door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> no! Get out of my head! <laughs> I'm okay, Sadie. Keep going. <laughs> the first door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, this is a weird bit. Sorry, um, sorry, sorry. Baby. No, it's, it's just like a kind of bland looking industrial office door. It's, mm -hmm. it's aggressively boring looking. Um, and there's like one very frosted window you can't see through, but you can see that the color coming out of it is beige. This isn't supposed to be here. Yeah, this is not giving party. What's this one over here? This is not giving party. <laughs> Wait, am I opening it? No, you're no, not you're, opening you're it, just, but what's your what's your what's door. your door look like? <laughs> or the I second door so that happens to be here? <laughs> trying to put a tiny little frame around Sadie's video that I did not know what was happening. Uh, <laughs> are you telling me there wasn't a frame around my video? <laughs> I'm waiting until we go in. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, this whole door. It's just a really cool looking uh screen door uh it looks like it would make a really big sound if someone let it shut um <laughs> you can't quite see through because there's like these very sheer uh like curtains on the inside just very decorative there's some little embroidered flowers and it looks very um like sun sun stained what is that yeah. Unbleached. Yeah. Unbleached. Thank you. And it's green. The opposite of stain. <laughs> <laughs> and it's green. Oh, and the next door. Wow. <laughs> the next door is uh like just a real shoddy like fence that you'd find out in the middle of uh like the county, like some rural county that like you might see on someone's property that's got like a whole bunch of like planks just kind of nailed together and like they're not all the same length but you can't see through it like beyond it it's just kind of light haze 
and you can like kind of hear cicadas. And Danto stops for a second. He sort of holds his hand up, sort of like focuses for a second. And he says, hmm. Well, this is no good. This isn't right at all. Why not? These aren't doors to parties. They're, hold on, they're not? No, well, they're doors to jobs. <gasps> Ew. Oh, God. That's the opposite. That is the I, That's exactly party. why I'm yeah. upset. <laughs> uh, you came from this way. But it didn't look like this. This clearly is some sort of trick by one of my many enemies. Really funny, everybody. <laughs> well, I mean, with that logic, like, these good. are doors that you'd never want to go into, right? Because it's work. I bet there's good stuff in the doors then. They could have hidden the keys in there, but you'd never yeah. get them. If I just stayed here. No, come on. I could just die. We no, no, no you can't the die. Is just the... hugging. This... I guess I'll just die. It's too too stressful. Death hey, Mordecai would never let you die. Look at look at me, man. The party <laughs> never dies. Oh, you're right. Tell okay. Honestly, I tell think the goose to be really encouraging to Danto. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the goose the goose looks at like looks at looks at Dante and goes honk honk <laughs> you're right honk, Mordecai honk. for the sake of the party castle if that means going to work for one day in my life I guess I can muster it <laughs> maybe maybe they need a little party in there but I can't without my magic don't don't say you can't those say you're gonna. That's what no, I always no. say. Fantasy <laughs> Sadie. I love that catchphrase of Sadie's. Don't say Fan you can't. Fantasy say you're Sadie gonna. always <laughs> says that. I, I hear it from her every day. I click my heels. I go, uh, don't say you can't say you're gonna. And you fly back to Kansas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, and he sort of says, well, should we go through the boring office door first? Yes. Let's yeah. do it. I especially can't wait to see the <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sadie, you lead the way. I, I take a step. I... This whole time. <laughs> yes, so I, uh, 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 Sadie, the floor is yours. You are now DM. Right, fantasy Sadie falls into a, a pile of ash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, she died! <laughs> it's not a little note that says BRB. So oh, you okay. assume that oh. she's not dead. Oh. She's just gonna be ashes for this little part. Okay. Okay, so as your party steps through this door, you find the air becomes a lot drier and cooler. Everything mm. gets a lot more quiet and stuffy. You step through and you are in the entryway to an office building, um, particularly uh, an office wing. I need to oh. log into the correct uh, mm -hmm. Roll20 account. Yeah. But you can tell that uh, it's, it has to be 1975 in there. <laughs> it's, very, it's very retro, very It feels bland. 1945. Yeah, it's, it's stuffy. Um, and to your left, you see there is a receptionist at a reception desk. Um, oh. There are uh, some doors to your right. And straight ahead, you can see it leads out into the general office space. And you can kind of tell that's where cubicles and stuff would be. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, you're, you kind of walk through the door, and the first thing you see is this receptionist. Uh, well, I'm going to go walk over and kind of like, is there like a chair like or something that I could scoot yes. over to the receptionist? I'm going to like yeah. drag the chair over and like stand on it and like stand over it so I can look at the receptionist. Hey, um, oh, oh. hi, oh, you, you moved the chair. Yeah, I did. I just wanted to be able to talk to you. Oh. Uh, I didn't want you talking to the ears. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Right. Um, how can we help you? Uh, well, so I was wondering, 
if you could help us find a key. Well, sweetheart, that's a little bit vague, isn't it? I know, I know. Did you lose your keys here during the office party a couple weeks ago, or? You know what? I think maybe. I think maybe some someone did. I think, and I look back over at Danto. <laughs> Were you one of the uh, plus ones from one of the employees, or? And and uh, who who may I ask are these uh, you you folks here behind? Who are who are you? Welcome. First of all, welcome. Hi. Uh, do we have business today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who I'm are you here to see? Are you all here to look for the keys? I'm also here to find my keys. Here to find my goose's hat. Oh. Okay, I need I need a <laughs> deception check from everyone. Okay, <laughs> fair. Well, there you go. We can make it happen. Uh... Oh, eleven. It's a seventeen. Okay. Um, and that is a. Uh oh! Wow, that's a a a, a twenty-four. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, the goose hat, of course. <laughs> oh, I do remember so there was... hard it became reality. <laughs> right. you know, I... There's so much crazy stuff that happens, you know. It's people like to have fun, but mm. not during the weekdays. So mm. we're it's you know, a very quiet time right now. So I do ask that you be respectful. Um sure. you and uh she looks at Liz is like I'm watching you. Oh. Why? You're in trouble. <laughs> I know. There's no way that you both lost your keys. I, I panicked. I got so nervous. Um, I'm going to go into my bag and find a little, a little uh, tomato. Uh, it's a little, little, it's bright yellow. I'm going to put it on the desk. I was like, I am so sorry for lying. You should have this tomato. I grew oh. it. In <laughs> oh, well. um, this is honestly quite charming. Thank you. It's and really all I got going for me at the moment. No, I, I, I think that's that's very sweet. Owl. I didn't lose my keys. I'm I'm with them. Try. I, I I am I looking for the goose hat though. Listen, I'm here to help. The goose hat. Um, just as long as you are in and out quickly and quietly and, and you don't disturb the people who are working. Um, do you remember where you left your keys? Um, you know, the party, it was just like we were having so much fun. No, of uh, course. Well, as, was... as you remember, of course, you mm -hmm. know, there, the, the break room is way in the back. And right. Uh, you were in the bathrooms at all they are uh, right here and she points to the doors that are um on the right side of this room also are we able to see the map right now uh, no if you could bring us over with by dragging the players tab over yes okay. that would be great uh, this is i would love to know how to do that just grab, grab the players grab tab and just move it over to where you in office is there's a players tab. I think oh, in the, the players tab. The yes. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. There. Yeah. Awesome. Now you can see the receptionist. You can see. Oh, thank God. Work. It all makes so much sense now. <laughs> yeah, oh, this, this is great. So boring. Yeah. <laughs> I am right here. <laughs> yes. Okay. Awesome. So, what do you want to do? You're in. You're in this room. You know, bathrooms mm -hmm. are to your right, and straight ahead is going to be the main office area. Right. Hmm. hmm. Well, I think I kind of want to check the break room first. Yeah. I feel yeah. like if there, if if Danto was anywhere, it it was probably the closest thing to a party in an office, and it was the break room. Okay. Perhaps we um, split up. 
always a good idea. Never a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Um, who wants to come with me to the break room? Okay, yeah, let's go. Okay. We can all go to the break room. We don't have to split up. I want to go too. Okay, we're not going to go. I could go with a soda. Which which path are you going to take? Are you just going to walk straight ahead or the break room? The receptionist that you asked, she said it's in. She said it's way in the back. Yes, um, curve this back. way. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna uh, head this way and then okay, cool. up that way. Oh, I'll okay. go straight. Ooh, and... <laughs> divide and conquer. <laughs> Slice the pie. We'll Slice. take a different angle. Slice the pie. Um. So, uh, anyone's welcome to make any perception checks. Um, right Ooh, now, yeah. it's just. Also, are you? trying to be quiet or oh i'm definitely gonna make a stealth check for sure okay. oh as we go as as we go i'm gonna leave more i'm gonna put mordecai down and just point put 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 him on this bench and just point him at the receptionist oh. and they just are staring at each other like oh <laughs> and he doesn't move he goes really still oh so no you lost your hat <laughs> <laughs> and she's just looking around being like I cannot wait to tell my nieces about this. Oh my god. <laughs> I met a hatless goose. <laughs> a very How do you polite thing happened hatless today? goose. Someone brought a goose in here. I got a 19 on my self check. Oh wow, okay. Wonderful. I'm a beast. I'm a, uh, actually uh, uh, well, if I'm seeing you be stealthy, I'll be stealthy. Just like uh, this. Oh we. Oh we. What'd you get? Uh, that is going to be a uh, twenty-five. Oh. Wow. Yeah, you're like ghosts floating through the mist. Ooh. Why are we sneaking? Nobody I, she even said turns to be quiet. around. She said to be quiet. I'm trying to be quiet. Do we Liz. see anyone as we walk by? Uh huh. Um, you don't. You you don't stir anyone, so there's not like movement. But you do see that there that this cubicle here is occupied and it's a it's a man quietly working but he's very focused and you're trying to sneak past him so sneaking past mm -hmm. yeah liz yeah are you are are you gonna loop around or are you being what's i'm what's gonna happening? go straight i think i'm gonna i'm gonna thread through this little aisle here okay um i i was told all the way back Mm -hmm. And all the way back, I will go. All right. Mm. Forging ahead. <laughs> Bravely. I'll, Never I'll move you. I'll move y'all. Okay. I'll move y'all. Turn around. Okay. Honk, honk. We'll start with with Liz over here. Oh, no. You took. You went to the other corner. Um, you see a, a little goblin man <gasps> kind of furiously trying to fix a piece of office equipment um, together to once more <laughs> then diverge <laughs> that's, that's to your to your right to your left you see um just a kind of sullen teen who is wearing very bland business casual clothes just sitting at a desk looking absolutely bored just shredding papers oh like with her hands or with a machine? With a machine. Just like oh, okay. slowly oh. taking papers from a big pile, <laughs> feeding them in, checking off a box, and just like doing that fairly awake. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. the, how, I, I don't think they acknowledge you because they're both kind of in the zone. Unless you want to make yourself known. I'll just watch for a while. Okay, let's come back to <laughs> Meadow and Danto then. He's so distracted. He's like watching, <laughs> so watching in the middle of the office, like a creepy scarecrow. They're both so absorbed. <laughs> the little goblin is kind of kicking the printer. Going, Damn, why will this work? Um, just struggling, and it's it is fun to watch. Um, yeah, uh, Meadow and Danto, you are standing right in the the doorway of the break room and mm -hmm. um there's you know a couple tables there's a couple people sitting at the farther table from you if you want to mm -hmm. roll any perception checks and friends feel free 
Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll roll a little perception, a cheeky little perception check. I did a perception as well. Uh, and that one's going to be a 19 for me. Oh, it's a, ooh, ooh, it's a 23 for me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's, We're in the, the, zone. here's the tea on this room. Um, you can see on the wall up here, there are, uh, there's like pantry cupboards that are stocked if you wanted to rifle through them. Mm -hmm. um, fridge right here and then over at this table you can tell that these two uh these two figures they are employees just like boring think jim and pam looking <laughs> employees and they are having the most awkward flirty conversation um that if you wanted to go listen to you could but they're just kind of like you can tell the tension is there and they are sweating so oh man that's where you're maybe at. meadow i i just i don't personally can't remember myself uh, if these are like real keys or metaphorical keys mm -hmm. maybe okay. we have to learn a lesson about the, the 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 working hard and playing hard or something i don't know i'm i'm, I'm spitball yeah, no, I appreciate it. Uh, My natural only... inclination is to see if we can get these two to make out or something. Hey, <laughs> I I am with you. And I'm going to go right over to them and be like, hey, everyone, oh, how are we uh, doing? How's lunch? Okay. The startled man is like, oh, oh, hot, hi. Hey, oh. do, you, do you work here? And the woman is like, Robbie, you can't just like, that's not welcoming to ask people that. No, it's totally fine. Um, I was a plus one at the party, um, and I lost my keys, but that's not, like, super important right now. I am really just, like, enjoying what's going on right here. You two, like, really have chemistry. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're both blushing so much. They're like, oh, no. That's. No, I'm oh. serious. Like, it's, it's, it's like something out of a... I don't know, some sort of late 2000s office comedy. That's really far in the future. <laughs> Sorry, a late 60s or office comedy. <laughs> well, uh, and he's like, well, I, I mean, I, you know, we're we're just very good co-workers. Uh, oh, sure. It, right, is, right. Isn't that right, Annette? And Annette's like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, I mean we're we're the best of friends. So Annette, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Hi. And what, what's your name? My name's Meadow. And uh what's yours? And I look at Annette's lunch partner. Oh, I'm uh, Rob Robbie. Hi. Robbie. Annette and I, Robbie. I, I, we weren't properly introduced at the party, but No, I was I was real caught up in the the whole festivities. I totally it was understand. A blast, wasn't it? it? It was, was a such a blast. Totally. Um, so where were you two? Oh, I. I mean, uh, I and she uh, Annette just jumps in. And is like, well, he was obviously cutting it up on the dance floor, right? As he always does, because he's the funny guy in the office. And Robbie's like, I'm not. I'm not funny. I'm not funny. <laughs> Robbie, you're funny. <laughs> No, uh, and she's like, "Yes, he is. He's really funny. He's a funny guy." I mean, if Annette sees it, I didn't know that you thought that was funny, Annette. She's like, "What? Are you kidding? Of course, I'm funny. going over to the cupboards, and I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got them distracted. Keep going." <laughs> okay. Uh, can I get an investigation check on that cover? Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> uh, my God, I am rolling amazing. I hope I do this all night. Uh, that is a 19. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, oh, my that's God. That's really great. So you see that. And, uh, hey, listen, I put some goodies in there for, for those who search through cupboards. I Hell, love yeah. You're, you're looking through, and there's, like, dust bottles of soy sauce and like a oh, weird bag eggs. of like expired Chex Mix. The kind of things that are in an office pantry but you right. move aside like the, for some reason, in like six pack of Tabasco that's never been unsealed uh, and there's a potion of greater healing. If you wanted to <gasps> oh, take hell it. yeah. 
Nice. Ooh, I say, ooh, cherry flavored. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also, I just want to say that everything is very, you know, this is drab, middle America mm -hmm. consumer products, but the potion of greater healing is a magic potion and it looks very cool. Okay, like really, crystal, that's really good. A crystal bottle with like. We a must be close. There's a potion here. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so back to Robbie and Annette being a little inane couple of flirters, <laughs> and they're just like, "Oh no, you hang up. No, you hang up." <laughs> you both clearly, like, I'm feeling the push pull, and like, what's stopping you two? Oh. Are you, you're being, you're being, you're being serious? Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, it's just, I, uh, and they're both like clearly like baffled because they're so used to their workplace personas. Mm hmm. Um, that it's almost like you're stalling them out a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm going to make a persuasion check. I, I, I'm like, okay. I think that, like, you know, professionalism is important but like when you find that person i think that's also important Ooh. uh that is a 23 holy crunch y'all you're <laughs> op for this room <laughs> <laughs> no uh, i just have a 13 persuasion yeah that's and i rolled good. a 10 <laughs> <laughs> so there there's a moment of silence as your words sink in and it's like I mean, Annette, you, you are really important to me. I mean, as a friend, of course, but I, I mean, I would be lying if I, if I said that what Meadow is saying didn't ring true for me. And Annette's like, oh my God, Robbie, I've been waiting for you to say something. I've been waiting for you to say something. <gasps> and they're both just like, and he's like, I, I, we should go out like on a date. Like a romantic date to Kelvin. You should. You should. And then it's like, yes, please. Oh my God. Uh, uh, why don't we? Why don't we go out for lunch right now? Our lunch break just started. We can just go. We we can go anywhere. He's like, we can go anywhere. I'll go anywhere with you, Annette. <laughs> Me <laughs> Robbie. Meadow, ask them for the key. And uh, did you find? And before you go anywhere, and you can go anywhere, just anywhere. <laughs> but before you go anywhere. Uh, did you happen to see a key? A key? Uh, I... I can't say I did. I know that usually lost and found actually gets kept in, like, one of the leadership offices. Yeah, and so where would that be? Those are the doors that are on the, um, the left of the, of the office space. Great, cool. So, Super. Yeah, I mean, I honestly would ask the receptionist, too, um, but... Yeah, it's got to be one of those places. Okay. And Robbie is like, before we go, thank you. Meadow, I, I feel like you've done a great thing here, and I know we just met, and uh, but I like, I wanted to thank you for this. And of he course. gives you, uh, he's like, it's not much, but uh, I found a cool rock. <laughs> <gasps> Listen, I love cool rocks. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> and he gives me this cool rock. And it I is love a, cool rock. a stone of good luck. So while that is on your person, you get plus one, two abilities and saving throws. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> I am really beefing everybody up right now. Oh, so. yeah. that's. Uh, I'm glad you went first. <laughs> He's no, like, I didn't give any, anything in my room. <laughs> Just it's okay. Know. It's okay. Just pain. <laughs> and Robbie, Robbie's like, okay, well, thanks again. I, I really hope you find your key. Thank and you. He's like, Annette? And he reaches out his hand. And she takes his hand. And it's the first time they've ever held hands. <gasps> oh. And it's uh, beautiful. Oh, geez. That's nice. And they leave. And now Bye. he's alone in this kitchen with Danto, who is drinking Tabasco or something. <laughs> Look! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> It goes great with the tequila. Oh, my oh God. No, oh, wow. Um, listen, that's great. Um, I appreciate what you did. 
Um, and you were kind of right. And I did get this really cool uh, stone that definitely looks like a cat. It definitely looks like my cat. Um, but it isn't the keys. We need to go talk to the receptionist again. <laughs> Try. Well, wait, wait, they didn't. Have, I heard the, 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 their love speech. If yeah, there's no. some leadership office, why don't we just go break into it? You know, we could also do that. Okay, cut back to Liz. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, a trance watching like the the paper being shredded, <laughs> and it, you know that <laughs> scene in Tarzan where all the sounds start making a song. That's what yeah. I imagine. This happening right now, <laughs> with the shredding and the kicking of the printer. Amazing. <laughs> Um, do, do you yeah. burst into song? <laughs> Amazing. I should have taken a level and barred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. I'll just kind of hum around, but I will. I get. I am so drawn to this little goblin man for no particular reason. <laughs> but um, I'll go stand like right next to him silently and watch. Um, and then ask, have have you tried plugging it in and plugging it, unplug? Have you tried that? Of course, of course I have. Who, 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 who are? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm really stressed out right now. This this thing has been giving me trouble. I've been working on it for like two hours. Oh, um, have you taken a break and revisited it? Sometimes a fresh take. I'll look into my bag. Um, <laughs> And I'm, I have a pint of blueberries that I'm going to take out. <laughs> um, would you like some blueberries? They're really good I, for I, not I, being stressed. I, I, don't, I feel like blueberries are not going to be what's, what I need right well, now. I have I, other things, too. No, don't. Uh, I, it, please don't offer me more produce. Please. <laughs> Unless you know how to fix a printer, I really don't have time to chat. Um, I do, and, actually. I, I'm really good at fixing printers. Um, you, one time I are. had to do it, and I did a really good job at it. I would like to fix this printer, please, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you say that, and he's like, my name's Kirby, not Sadie. I, some, I am really bad at remembering names, so I just call everybody Sadie. Um, <laughs> even out the it's makes sense. It's one of the most gorgeous names. <laughs> and everyone well, wishes it was their name when it touches their ears. Um, it's true. I think yeah. I would like to check for a paper jam. Okay. Um. Ooh, uh, let's. I'm taking a look at how to play D and D. That I think that would probably be a um. Let's say it's a medicine check. <laughs> I love the printer that. Is very I love that. Sick. The, the printer's yeah. all clogged up. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't print. I. Oh, no. I'm gonna do a medicine check. Ooh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Five. No. Nice. <laughs> you. He's not going to make it, Doc. <laughs> I'm a ranger with negative You reach one into the printer. <laughs> Get me and over you, there. <laughs> you you pull out a piece of paper. Well, there like, you have is it. Is this it? <laughs> and Kirby's just grabbing his hair like, I don't think the paper is the issue here. I, I just Listen, feel like it's just out. different. It's wild. It's out there. <laughs> I, how, um... Gosh, I got so distracted. I'm so sorry. Have you seen? I'm looking for my keys. What? Have you? No. I was not at the no, party. No, I know what. I... But somebody else was, and they had my keys, and now I'm looking for them. Okay, I uh. do not know where your keys are. I am a little bit preoccupied. If there is someone else that you can ask, I feel like that would be, be better because I really have to focus on this. And he quickly kind of just turns around and just like shakes his little hairs around oh. and starts getting back knuckled deep into this thing. Just kind of fixing it. <laughs> uh. <Stop. laughs> 
you know um and okay. you can you can hear the shredder still going behind you as the uh sullen teen is still oh. kind of just i'll go after <clears throat> the sullen teen okay. i'm gonna oh i'm gonna do that and do do pop over the cubicle wall thing and just kind of peek over <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm working. I'm working. Yeah, I'm working. <laughs> you're shredding it. <laughs> Thank, thanks. Hi. Um, are you are you also an intern? Um, I was once somewhere else. Um, nice promotion. Nice. <laughs> totally. Don't follow your dreams. It's um, <laughs> way ahead of you. <laughs> have you seen? a key laying around or a string of keys or a ring of keys. I'm not clear. Just any keys. Uh, you can see uh, the teen is just sort of like kind of covering up the uh, necklace. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. I don't know. <gasps> you, what, what? Whose keys? Why do you need keys? Uh, I'm locked out of a door. <gasps> Oh I well, I need to get in. I uh, listen. I I'm. It's coincidental. I'm wearing a key. I don't think this oh, is the I one you it? need. No, absolutely it's... not. You cannot have it. Well, are there any other keys, or is this the only one in here? Because I think that might be the one I'm looking for. I mean, I'm sure there are other keys. Like everybody has a key mm. in their pocket, almost, right? Can I make an insight check to see if this is, if she knows this is the key I need? Yes. Or yeah. Why she's being Damn. so weird about it? Ah, that's uh, seven. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's wisdom. You, oh. You still can't. You still can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Fantasy Liz is just as dense as reality. <laughs> oh no. But you could tell that the teen does not like you eye on the necklace. Damn. Well, I, if I, I don't I mean, find like, any other keys, I'm I sorry. Might who, what was your name again? Liz. Liz. Cool. Um, and you work here? No, I don't. I have not worked in an office oh. in like three years. What are you straight. doing here? I'm li <laughs> I literally just You're just me looking, looking for, for key. keys? Yeah. That's like super weird. It's, Thank you. This is like an office. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I know. I don't want to be here either. I mean, I also I wanna don't want to be in the door that the key goes for me. I mean, do you need help finding the key? Do you want to help me? Or do you I want mean, to like, keep shredding your papers? They literally have me on shredder duty. <laughs> Such bullshit. Such yeah. bullshit. Come on. I'm That's aimless bullshit. and okay. have no idea what I'm doing. Awesome. Let's go. Same. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just stands up and is like, uh, Gerby, I'm going to help this person find their key. And Gerby is just like, stop talking to me. <laughs> An unparalleled Stop. work ethic. He's always yeah. had it. Just. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. So Demetrius, like, where are we going? What's up? Um, I oh god, I was here with people. Uh, I'm oh, we start should find them. For my buddy. <laughs> We're sneaking. <laughs> Yeah, um, we well we 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 I don't think we've I think we've unsneaked and we're in the break room. I believe you're currently chugging hot sauce with tequila. <laughs> but I, it's just a it's just a dash. It's not chug. Okay, sorry. Okay, you're dashing hot sauce head. with tequila. Um, no. Um Yeah, let's say that you guys meet up. Come on. Let's actually Okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're making noises, Liz and Demetra can hear you and Yeah. They, and I say, good good news. We think we might have an idea of where the key is in one of the leadership's office. Why yeah. do you have a teenager with you? Yeah. Hi. Oh. Oh, she was hey. What's, what's your name? I'm Demetra. I'm an intern. Nice to, nice to meet you, Demetra. Um, yeah, no, I just uh, hooked your coworkers up, so they'll probably be gone for a little bit. Um, oh God, thank you. They were so annoying. It was like, will they, won't they? I, I know, like, and I, I just had to. So much of that. I had to tip it one way, and I thought I'd be nice about it anyway. Um, so we're gonna go look in the leadership office for some keys, uh, see if there's like a lost and found that might have the keys in it. Oh yeah. Um, do you know how to get in there? I. That's kind of like above 
my station, I guess. I'm not really supposed to interact with them a lot. I got a kind of bad internship. And my oh, for sure. Good internship, which was oh. really stupid. Um, but I did. Does really your brother work here too? Yeah, he's another intern. I don't know where he is right now. But I feel like if we knock on some doors in a, like a polite way, mm -hmm. this teenager is not super helpful. <laughs> who's the most? Who's who's the most in charge? Who who's your boss? I mean, who's the most in charge? Like in a company, it would be like the CEO. Where's okay, no, office? but like, yeah, it's the it's the middle one right here, and she points to this closed door here. Mm, okay, oh. well. Uh, shall we open it? Oh, wow. Oh, I, I... Just going right for the CEO? Whatever you want. I mean, we want the, 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 the lost and found, correct? Yeah. Maybe not the CEO. Who's the next down the ladder? Yeah, start at the top. Work our way down. Okay. I mean, I know there's also a CFO and a COO, and those are the other two doors right there, but I don't know who's who, and I don't know who's higher in the company who would have the lost and found I, i've never had a real job i feel I... like if anyone had the lost and found it would be the coo hmm. or the receptionist well the the jim and pam said that they were in the in the leadership offices okay so let's check the coo okay um the COO door is this first one here. All right. Oh. Let's do it. Okay. Well, how how are we doing this, squad? Oh. Is the door unlocked? Uh, you you test the handle lightly, and you see that the door is unlocked. Ah, uh, well then I will go inside. Yeah, let's okay. do it. How do you how do you enter? With um, a flourish. <laughs> I am going I am gonna cast mage armor real quick. <laughs> I that is my flourish. <laughs> so I'm gonna just like real quick, just like boop. Okay. So this is a it's a flourish, it's a physical flourish. It's are you being loud or are you being quiet? Uh, Imagine if a Willy Wonka walked into your office. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Okay. Whoa. All right, let, me, let me reveal Whoa. this area. So, I'm imagining the way Willy Wonka moves, uh, he kind of just does a silent somersault and a big pose, is what I understand from yeah. Willy Wonka. Mm -hmm. Which would be very impressive, except for the figure here that is at the desk is fast asleep. Oh no. Uh, is it old man who's snoozing into his elbow and the rest of the office is you know very bland 1970s office he's got like a picture of someone else playing golf on the wall it's it's very boring in here someone else mm. it makes sense that he fell asleep yeah is there is there anything like on a shelf that looks like a lost and found basket why don't you uh, roll a perception check? Yeah, yeah, let me let me help you out with that. Now I'm determined to find my damn key. Ooh! <gasps> you get a natural twenty? No, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got a twenty nine. Holy crap! Better than me. Holy. Okay. Well, I so as you, without luck stone, you're, you're, you're standing. You're just looking right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not moving to waking anybody up, but you can see that there is, it's whatever you're looking for, definitely not in this room. Okay. Then we back out. Yeah. We back out. Okay. You gently close the door. Yeah. Real slow, real soft. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. He's, Net. he remains dreaming. <laughs> he's, he's dreaming of golf. God bless oh. him. Someone okay. else playing golf. All right, so you're gonna try door number two. Yes. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah. Sip at from this my point. flask real quick. Take a sip. Ready to go. Sip. All right. And how? Oh, so you test. Same door thing. Door, right? <laughs> you, don't, you don't. You don't get that far. The door. Oh. The door is locked. <gasps> um. Somebody roll me a perception check. Three. A twenty-seven. Three and twenty-seven. The, the full spread. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Liz, uh, <laughs> you, you accidentally went into a cubicle and it's empty and you're just looking in there. Um, Is there anything nice? Not like a three. <laughs> no. There's nothing. There's like hang in there kitten yeah, poster. Um, but with a with a twenty seven, you mm -hmm. can hear muffled voices from behind the door. <gasps> so this room is locked. And you can hear there is a woman's voice and she is pissed. And she is ripping into somebody. You can't tell if it's on the phone or if it's someone in there, but you could tell if there is drama going on in this room. This is this, Demetra. I think this is the CEO, right? Mm, I don't know. Next office? Is. Give her time? Yeah, let's give her time. Let's check the other office real quick. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> check the other office and the door is locked. Oh, false. Is there any sound from the other side? No. Um, how, how stealthy are you being right now? I'll be pretty stealthy. Why don't you roll for it? I will. Everybody uh, roll ooh, for it. Me, baby. Uh, is going to be a unnatural twenty. Okay. Uh, it's a thirteen for me. We're getting those middle rolls now. Okay. Why are y'all making me do anything? Uh, Liz, <laughs> the thirteen. Oh, hey, we're on the same. We're on the same wavelength. 13. Okay. This was a really. This is a really tough one. So. So it doesn't we're matter. Die. Because <laughs> Because uh, you see in this cubicle over here, the guy's head swivels around, and he's like, "Hey, what are you up to? Mm. Hey, what are you trying to get into that office for?" Oh, we're looking uh, for a key. What? Just uh, 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 no, goose hat, the key. Goose hat. Goose hat is hey, I I don't know what you're up to, but I don't trust you, and I'm making that decision now. Whoa. Uh, um, oh, 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 He's in a board meeting right now, but it's re you really shouldn't interrupt the board meeting. Oh, but well. That's, that's what's going on in this in that room right there. And he points to these doors here. Nice. And uh, I, well, why don't you just go about your business and we'll wait for the meeting to be done. Okay, you're, you're gonna wait, right? How you long is the meeting? How long is the meeting? Uh, he swivels around his chair and looks up at the clock. He's like, okay, well, it's, it's 11.07. It's, it's supposed to be done at 11.45. Okay. Too long. I'll That's die. Really... <laughs> yeah, I really don't have time for that. Just um, to pick a lock. Yes. We could, we could do that, but I have another idea. Break it down? No, someone find me. A smoke detector. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what will what? that accomplish? I love. This I can, plan. I can make smoke. Yeah, but I if don't the... need to cut, I don't need to make it catch on fire. All I need to do is make smoke. It'll just set the fire alarm. Everyone will leave, and then we... we'll have to pick the lock. I well, no. Your... Then, sorry. Uh, and then I, and then I cast Gift of Gab, <laughs> which is a reaction spell that makes him forget the last like That's six so... seconds of the things that I just said. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait, who are you? Are you looking for the CFO? We're looking He's for the lost and found. Right now, right? Yeah. What He's in a, does in the CFO board stand right? for? It's financial chief financial officer. officer. Thank you. I've been sitting here wondering this whole time. Listen, if you if you really need to talk to him, you can just you you can wait till the meeting is done. You can go and sit in the room, no. quiet. <laughs> just let's I, just we. I sneak away from that guy and I say, let's yeah, just. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna go back to work. Let's just let's just so we distract this the 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 nosy person and we'll pick the lock. Okay. No need to no need to get a fire alarm going. It's 
a lot of inner that's a lot all right. Unless this doesn't work, and then we'll do that. I plan to okay. mask on this. <laughs> a nice, another red. We have a lot of great last ditch effort plans now. <laughs> another big red button. But in, under no circumstances would you ever consider just going into that room. Is that the, oh, well, I, I mean, said not to. It, it could be filled with. <laughs> Who knows what? Yeah, exactly. It's very- it could be filled with bees. It could be filled. It could be filled with bees. It's totally possible, and that would be horrible. You guys well, solved my not- bee puzzle before we even got to it. You know, one time I encountered a terrible, malicious spirit that uh, ate the essence of partying and shat bees. <laughs> shat bees. That's terrible that. thing. One of my many enemies. The teen is like adding it to the enemy list. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We need to keep track. Sus- Where are suspects. you guys from? This is super funny. It's not going to really make a lot of sense if I try to explain it to you. Okay. You're not going to remember anyway, probably. What? Um, you might. Who knows? I mean, if there are no rules in here, then I'm just going to kick down the door. Hey, you know what? We haven't tried that. This might we have a simulation. <laughs> Wait. Hey. Which yeah. Door? Hold on. This door. This the CFO. The CFO. <laughs> oh, okay. Shake you, things up. Why don't you try kicking out the door? Okay. Yeah, move it up attack roll with your foot. Uh, and you see uh, Danto kind of like stretches a little bit and flexes and unbuttons a couple buttons on his shirt. You see underneath, he's like actually like really ripped. He's oh like, my God. This might surprise you, but uh, before I really got all my magical powers, uh, the party castle relied on me as its main bouncer. I still remember some of the old moves. Let's go. Holy and shit, I and I, I run <laughs> and I do a running flying kick into the door. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, God. And that is going to be a um it's going to be altogether a 19 to hit. Yeah, you 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 dent that door. <laughs> it is it is not unlocked. But there is a kick mark in the door, and it made quite a loud sound. I'm going to uh, 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 look around. Uh, you you hear a little bit of like commotion from just like somebody. It sounds like someone's hushing people in the boardroom. We have to wait. And we have to then, wait. We have to wait. <laughs> and then, then uh, you see uh, a guy poke his head out. He turns around. It's this it's a large orcish man uh wearing just the starchiest suit and he looks like a bad motherfucker. He looks very angry and he's like, "Hey, could you keep it down? I Hey, that's my door. Um, can I help you? What what's going on? We're looking uh we're looking for the um lost and found. I'm in the middle of the sales meeting. I know, and I'm so sorry to. That's have... why we kicked the door. Yeah, we you really need. That's absolutely not professional. We, we well, don't work it's here. Not really, yeah. You don't. You don't even work. Who does work here? Someone should have stopped you from kicking down this door. I'm in the middle. These numbers are going down. And I point. Up, I point to the guy in the down. cubicle. <laughs> Terrence, and Terrence like squeals. He's like, ah! no, I I told them to wait. I told them to wait outside. He's like, Terrence. You were supposed to keep them out. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, and he picks up a stapler and starts hitting himself in the head with it. Oh, Whoa, Terrence. Terrence! Come on, Terrence. Terrence! Come on! Terrence, you're being dramatic. Stop it. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. CFO, sir. That's why I'll never work in an office again. It's very violent. Yeah. He's like, look, you kicked my door. I... This is very embarrassing. I'm, it was a good kick, though. It almost it took it off the hips. Honestly, I'm a fighting man myself. Very impressed. Yeah, you, you had a strong kick there. Uh, but can can this can this wait till the meeting is done? All we need is the box. If you just give us the lost and found box, we don't need to bother your meeting. Oh, no, if if we have to wait, we're going to get so is. much more destructive. Uh, <laughs> listen, I will break this door. Um, 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 um. I'm gonna try to cast charm person on him. Woo! Okay. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> I have to save my wisdom. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I'm just gonna, I, I don't have a. I loved when Betty Boop did a uh, uh, D <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that I'm just gonna use Demetrius dice for this. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Okay. 
he rolled a 14. Yeah, that passes. What? Because <laughs> your wisdom's so low. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, he's like, bad ranger. He, he crosses Fuck. his arms and he's like, I'll be with you in a moment. And he turns around and he goes back into the meeting. He leaves the door open, though. I, All right. We follow? Yeah, I'm going to stealth my way in there. Wait, into I, the meeting room? I yeah, I'm going to get in there. A stealth open. I'm going to stealth my way in there. All right, well, while you are, are going into the... Bravely, do whatever's going to happen in that room. I'm going to kick the door. And <laughs> again? As you, say that, as you say that, the lackey Terrence is already standing just in front of the door and be like, you're going to have to kick me in half first. I've already oh. failed once in protecting this door. When you can't, I will fail again. Break all my ribs. I don't care. And I say, Terrence... Terrence will kick you apart. He'll kick you apart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some of you are going into the boardroom. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sneaking in. Uh, awesome. That is a 25. Okay, yeah. It's it's. He basically has resumed the meeting as if this hasn't happened. Great. And he's standing in the front talking about numbers. It is boring as shit. Great. Um, you can see there are four cogs sitting at the table cog life Sales guys. cog wife cog, cog life cog wife just four business guys who are kind of drones like just writing things down and nodding and commenting when asked to and then uh at the end of the table here you can see a an older um maybe maybe not a teen maybe he's like 20 or 21 uh mm -hmm. looks just like this other teen um, you could tell oh, that must shit. be Daniel. And then uh, there are two sales. I call, I'm calling them sales pricks. They're like just a beefier version of the cogs. And those oh, two geez. guys are oh, flanking Daniel to just be like, he's with us. And they're nodding oh, and looking like, yeah, the numbers are lining up. Yeah. Oh, the revenue. <laughs> um, I hate the sales pricks already. I need to get in and get out. <laughs> Be careful in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, looking around for that box. Okay. Perception check. Okay. 23. With that luck stone, man. I got. Yeah, that luck stone is great for you to give. <laughs> I got a. You gave a bard with jack of all trades a no. luck stone. Hey, listen, you made two people kiss. <laughs> I did make two people kiss in your That's room. How you get the <laughs> give, it to, is... give it to Liz. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm talking about. I honestly, I might give it. Hey, I might give it to Liz. Liz missed the kiss. <laughs> Terrible. Sad. Mm. No, um, with a with a 23, I'm um, looking around. It it is very much a blank slate boardroom. Mm -hmm. Very bare bones. It is really a jack of all trades of a room it's it's nothing has a de designated place here except for table and chairs and the whiteboard mm -hmm. um and you can tell that these cogs are also very bored yeah with the 23 and that uh the cfo has basically reset he seems kind of like very focused now mm-hmm that's what you can see. Oh, you don't man, see a box. no box. Though. You don't see a well, box, though. Uh, I, I'm still just looking at Terrence. I'm just like, well, Terrence, it's going to happen if you don't move out of the way. Please reconsider. Well, I, I, I'm sure once the meeting Listen, is Listen, there's a lot riding on this entire endeavor. We have to get the party castle back. There's it's been taken over by on, something on bad. Me having all my ribs work. I know. Listen, I've weighed the choices very carefully, Terrence. I don't want to push you through that wall. I don't but... want you to push me through the wall either. Please, I know I was kind going of to rude have before, to. but it's just... I just think that the CFO is really scary, okay? Yes, but hey, think about it this way. If I kick you through this door, it's not your fault. You got kicked through a door. If I don't <laughs> kick you through the door, you're the guy who let this guy kick a door down and steal. No, I'm not letting you kick the door down. I really hope you don't kick me through a door. No, <laughs> this is for you. I'm making you it better. It's not working. <laughs> this, is, this, this is the way it has to be, Terrence. Terrence does start to cry. <laughs> Terrence. Oh, Terrence. And oddly... <laughs> 
This does distract the CFO. <laughs> Terrence pleading for his life out there. <laughs> please don't kick me to shreds, Terrence. Terrence, please don't cry. Here, I'm mean, In the other room, the CFO is like, oh, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, uh, you, sales prick number Shh. two, why, why, can, you, can you go through some of these numbers? I, I need to take care of this. Oh, shit. And he goes out, and uh, sales prick number two is at the head, and he's like, these numbers speak for themselves. Okay. Um, so you know, oh, we have to get out of here. I'm going to go insane. You do have Terrence. to get out of there. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. But the CFO, the CFO has come out. Uh, okay. if, if you let another sales prick talk, you're going to take damage. Uh, what, what, what I want to do is I, I'm just going to, I just look at him and I very solemnly say, Terrence, I'm very sorry. And I'm going to l loop my arm through Terrence's arm, grabbing it. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to pivot like I'm a discus thrower. And I'm oh going to God. spin Terrence around my body and then bring him around myself and then mash him into the door like a battering ram. Wait, oh roll, my God. Roll for that. Roll for that. Uh, I want you to know uh, that the CFO is standing in the doorway watching you do this. <laughs> well, you know, the party castle's at, for, we have to do something. Go, go, go. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, uh, can, can I count Terrence as an improvised weapon? <laughs> I'll also be happy to make a grapple check on him if you want. Yeah, let's let's have you try to grapple him first. Okay, okay. So he's uh, kind of sweaty. So to grapple. Uh, oh my is, god. Uh, okay, good news. The grapple did went very well. Okay, uh, that is going to be a uh, twenty-one to hit. Yeah, absolutely. Or to grapple. So, so I got him, and now okay. I'm going to use him as an improvised weapon. <laughs> okay, go for it. Oh my god. It. Uh, I, I will say I, I he's no, he's no monk weapon, so I'm going to I'm going to use my strength score, which is worse. Uh, <laughs> oh, and it's a bad fucking roll. Oh, ouch, no. ouch, ouch. Uh, so that's going to be all <laughs> So all together, that's an eight. Okay. Yeah. So you've crumbled him. Ah, that's gonna be so At fucking the last cool. Second you kind of you kind of trip you do hit the door but it's just like a thud against the door <sighs> and you and terrence are slumped against the door on the ground with the cfo standing over you and the god thing. damn it terrence terrence is like sir i'm doing everything i can for you and the cfo is like <laughs> enough enough you've made it clear this is very important to you my meetings are very important to me but violence is also very important to me and I'm impressed. <laughs> Step into my office. <laughs> Hell yeah. So he, he, he unlocks the I'm door. not letting go of Terrence. <laughs> Drag Let him, him go. Let, <laughs> Let him go. Danto, <laughs> drop him. Danto, drop. <laughs> awesome. So, so um, Meadow and uh, Liz, you have left the... Um, boardroom. Oh yeah, I got out as soon as like the okay. <laughs> as soon as the sales prick number two started talking, I was like, I need to leave. <laughs> also, uh, Demetra is kind of leaning up against Terrence's cubicle, just like a lot watching in great amusement to all this. Mm -hmm. She does not follow you into the office. Okay. Um. So yeah, let me reveal <gasps> the gorgeous, gorgeous office of the CFO. Okay. CFO. He gets he Beautiful. he swaggers behind his desk <laughs> and he Pretty sits great. there and he's like, "So what could be so important that it has to interrupt the quarterly sales meeting?" And you can tell that that means a lot to him. This is going quarterly. to sound This is going to sound so crazy but we are looking for lost and found and in particular a key within the lost and found if you help us with this task i guarantee you the next time you go to a party you're going to find it's going to be the best one of your fucking life <laughs> party huh yeah I... it's been a long time since i've been to a party i didn't even go to the office party no oh, jeez. It's... it's been a long time for me uh it's been a while listen i I do my job here. Oh, well, let's let's take a look in the lost and found. And he pulls out a safe from under the desk and puts it on the table. It's like, oh my god! You weren't at, that good at violence. This would have never happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you Thank you. The way you threw that whelp—that was <laughs> fucking funny. 
<laughs> he he hey he made me do it so I've he, wanted that, to he's a brave that. very I'm brave so guy long. i can't because yeah. i work here so it's kind it. of fun that you know you know, yeah. I, you know i'm a leadership i gotta be professional but you know it's fun <laughs> to troll other people uh and yeah and he's unlocked the safe and you take a look inside there are there any are... keys there is there's a <gasps> big old glowing golden key that is very obviously the magical key that you are thank for. goodness <laughs> oh he's like is it this one or is it this one he holds up like a honda civic keys <laughs> it's the glowing key for sure oh yeah okay sure uh, he didn't look like you had a Honda. I don't know. You seem more like a Chevrolet family. You're a family, right? I'm a family. Man, family. So. We're a we're we're a bit of a found family. Lost. Well, I lost. No, these are not my family. Uh, lost and, and I, I hold found. The key. Lost and found family. Thank you. As you as you hold the key, we feel a bit of power restored to you, and the surrounding office begins to fade away as the. CFO is chuckling at his desk thinking, I love violence. You know? The chief fighting officer. <laughs> chief chief officer. fighting officer. It's like Bye, Demetra. Demetra is like, y'all are funny. And then she's gone. <laughs> You're all back in the hallway with the key. And the door is walled up. There's oh. no door there anymore. <laughs> oh. oh. You have to build a new door. Very curious. Very interesting. But you have your key now, or well, you did. But so, can you get into your, your, your room now? No, no, no. There, there are three keys that one needs to uh, in, get into the door. A That's a, it's a security precaution I instituted some time triple, ago. Triple, <laughs> triple factor authentication. I understand. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. I also get a text message that I have to respond to whenever <laughs> I try to open it. Oh, good. You have it's your phone, right? It's kind of right? a pain, but. <laughs> I left it in the office. Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> Mordecai had. We left Mordecai. Mordecai, Mordecai is there. Mordecai is He's there. Oh back. my god! And from the pile of ashes honk, honk. arises Katie. She's back. Oh. Hey. Interesting. Hey. You you turned to ashes, and now you're back to being a person. I feel great. You guys should try this. It's so cool to turn into a pile of ashes. Uh, are you? You're okay, right? I'm more than okay. I'm fucking ready to go. All right. I came back way hornier. Whoa! <laughs> is, is, that, is that what happens? Yes, that's what happens. <laughs> ashes I... to ashes, dust wow. to horny. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, ashes to ashes, bust to bust. Okay, anyway. Nice. There we go, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, 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 well, uh, looks like there's two more doors to go through. Solve this key conundrum. Get back my powers, please. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. There's something comforting about that, uh, that like kind of screen door. It does remind me of the hall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. It feels next. like it's going to be way easier for me to throw someone through. Through a screen door. Oh, pick oh, me, absolutely. pick me. <laughs> it's definitely going to be easier to throw someone through a screen door, but let's wait mm -hmm. until we get in there before you start throwing let's people. Let's find out. Let's do it. <laughs> it worked last time. The guy said it was a good idea. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Liz, you're in charge now. Oh, I get in. I'm going to move the little, little frame. Players. Players tab. Okay. Ooh, you all push. You all open the screen door, and a little bell rings. Ding, 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 ding. And you step in, and it slams shut behind you. Um, and immediately you're hit with the smell of just pine trees and fresh air. And although there's no uh, like fireplace in this room, you just get that campfire smell just permeating through the air. Mm. And you walk in, and it's a little office, much different than the office you were just in. This is uh, just one very small room, um, 
the walls are all just made of planks of wood, and there's an old, very old-fashioned desk with like the, the the thing that goes up. And then closes down. You know, roll the, top, the roll, roll top. top desk. That's the kind. Of oh desk. yeah, that's what it is. And it's up against one of the wall, nice. and it's kind of crammed and jumbled. And there's um, like bookcases around, full of like different types of wildlife guides and things of that nature. And um, sitting behind, or yeah, in front of the desk is a very, very small um, gnomish woman with very, very, very curly hair and big bottle glasses, um, probably in, like, her 40s, and her hair is jumbled, and there's, like, three pencils sticking in there, and she's wearing uh, some pretty cool overalls. And um, (laughs) she sees you come in, and she goes, Oh, excellent! Yes. Um. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Party of three. It's three o'clock. Um. So you must be here for the uh the the, the pine cone cabin, right? That's the one you. That's the one you reserved. It's it's ready for you, right? That's what you're here for. Uh, Welcome. Yes. To yes. Home. Yeah. We're here yes. for the pine cone cabin. Yes. Most well, excellent. That's that's so. That's so exciting. Um, um, oh, gosh. I'm, I got so lost in thought for a second. Um, this is obviously your first time um, coming to stay with us here at the Wayward Inn. But um, t- uh, it's everything will be so wonderful. Well, you know, the, uh, the, the, it gives you a big spiel about how someone comes in in the morning and lights the fireplace, and during breakfast your beds are turned over, and uh, there are canoes for you to take out whenever you need. Um, that breakfast starts at 8 and goes to 9, lunch starts at noon, goes to 1, dinner's at 6 to 7, and just like very promptly, there's a little bell that will ring, gives you a whole darn spiel about it. Uh, if you wanted, you could actually skip lunch and if you order a picnic the night before you can pick up a little picnic basket and take that out oh hey that's that all sounds great Uh um do you have a a room key oh yes um and there's a bunch of tiny little drawers and she um goes through them and then she opens one that has a little pine cone emblem. Ah, yeah, this one. And Cute. inside the drawer, it's like almost glowing as if it's full of gold. And she <gasps> picks out a little key, and the key is glowing, much like that magical key you just saw. And there's a little keychain um, that's one of those floaty boat keychains on the end. Cool. Oh! Uh, and she... Wow! Pulls it out of the drawer and uh, puts it on the desk and keeps on talking to you. Um, Don't take the key. We have to stay here. It's (laughs) wonderful here. (laughs) Oh, Um, it's still a workroom. This could be a trap. Danto, it's really (laughs) nice in here. (laughs) They said they could have a place. Smells like trees. So I like (laughs) trees. Why don't I show you to your cabin? Yes, please. That, that would be great. I would love that. Excellent. I'm like, you can just let us see the cabin. Eyeing, right? I'm, I'm like the eyeing the key. No yeah, there's no problem seeing the cabin, right? Yeah, no, we, got, we gotta see the cabin. Let's see the cabin. I have no problem seeing the cabin. We're gonna take a look at the cabin. I'm not against the cabin! We're seeing the cabin. Thank you, ma'am. We're Please seeing the cabin. the cabin, ma'am. <laughs> okay, I will show you the cabin. <laughs> Um, okay, um, so she grabs the key and she's like holding it really tight. Uh, she goes and she goes back out that uh screen door. Um, she starts walking down a little uh shambly path. We're following her. Oh, yeah, absolutely following her. I want to take in all the sights and just it's it's so beautiful. I'm just smelling the will like the wilderness, okay. just like oh my gosh. Donto, isn't it great? Sometimes 
isn't isn't this a kind of a party? This hey, this is this is nature's Five party. Parties. Um, this is yeah. this is nature's party. Yes. It's just the vibe is. I don't know. It's fine. I'm not upset. Okay. <laughs> Seem a little bit upset. It's important. It's important that you're not upset. Uh, oh God, he's little drinking little a lot. <laughs> oh my God, it, it's all coming. It's all coming to get me. It's a natural one. <laughs> 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 Uh, mine's a mine's a twenty one. Wait, natural what are we rolling for? <laughs> perception. Perception. Okay. It's, it's a natural one for a total of <gasps> eleven. <laughs> I got it. What'd you get to? Oh, yeah! oh, oh the one. full spectrum. Cheers. Yes, we we need some twentos in the chats, folks. But it, uh, also, I've been waiting. Uh, I, I was waiting for myself to roll one, but now that you've gotten two, yeah. Cheers! Hey, I have my cheers. Twinto Malort shot here. Oh, my oh God. amazing! Twinto. Twinto! You didn't even take it when I kissed the goose in the first five minutes. I was trying to. Time. I know because I went to save it, and then I was like, "Well, maybe we're never gonna roll another one." No, oh, please. There'll be always more. Excuse me. I'm true. perceiving right. the cabin. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 you've exclusively got natural twenties for things that aren't generally I'm, just like in real <laughs> life successes. Yeah, I'm perceiving the forest floor yeah. on accident. <laughs> yeah, that I took mushrooms and I am looking so much at the ground. And Meadow, it's with a natural one, you hear like you're for sure you hear an owl, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> an owl in the wood. This is, it's a real owl. It has to be an absolute owl. Totally. I know for a fact that this no, is an, an owl. owl. And you're super Ab excited about it. Um, it is an owl. And then everyone else notices uh, off to the side, some bushes shake a little bit. And what is for sure a child going, whoo -hoo, whoo -hoo, whoo -hoo, whoo -hoo. <laughs> Do y'all hear this owl, the nature vibes? You Can you did. believe it? You it's the, day. The child? I know. Can you believe that there are nature, like there are owls even in the day out here? No, that's a kid. I, I don't know what I don't know what small owls are called. I don't spend a lot of time in nature, but like it's wonderful. I stoop down to the bush and I'm like, "Hey, you an owl, kid? <laughs> Why are you talking? Listen, just because you kissed a goose doesn't mean you can talk with an owl. I can talk to the owls and children. <laughs> just don't kiss them both." No, I can't. Kiss, kiss, kiss a child. I only kiss the goose. I don't even kiss an owl. Okay? Yeah, don't don't I'll kiss, kiss the kid after kissing the goose. You're gonna get that kid E. coli. Yeah, he's gonna get goose fever. It's not be okay. no. Listen, don't listen. Don't wish goose fever on us. That's like 2024's pandemic. I can't wait. Uh, Hong I'm, Kong. I'm, 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 I let him fly away. I'm talking to this child. I uh, you see. Pair of great <laughs> big eyes peering back after you or out to you and very similar hair to the woman in the office is just like continuing down the path talking as if y'all are still following her um <laughs> and <Can't... laughs> uh the child looking at you shh sorry sorry shh you're gonna blow my cover and they sneak out of the bushes and goes ahead of you all on the path and is very quietly sneaking after what is clearly their mom. Guys, we gotta be stealthy. I don't oh, wanna mess it up for this kid. Yeah, I'm gonna stealth check for sure. Yeah, everyone make stealth. a stealth check for me. Wait, hold okay, on. Okay, that's much better. That is an 18. Wait, I do Mine's have okay. pass without a trace. I want to cast incredible. Do it, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, please. I mess this up. I, oh, yes, yeah, awesome. please. Pass without a trace. So okay. that makes it a 28 for me. It makes it a 25 yeah. for me. Woo. Okay, my stealth with pass without a trace, that's going to be 30. So we're <laughs> Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. This woman has no idea. <laughs> what chaos is going on behind her and you just hell yeah as Lil Quinn wearing like like hand-me-down hand-me-down khaki shorts that are covered in paint 
like not like like colors and paints but just like was clearly painting like a shed or something and you actually yeah. look off and you see like this little chicken coop that is very shoddily painted um, <laughs> oh tom sawyer is helping us on this adventure <laughs> <laughs> and they're sneaking up and they're sneaking up and they're being really quiet and they get right behind and then they snatch the key out of their mom's hand and starts running towards the lake now hey wait a minute now, hey, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. i'm about to kick and this kid through so many doors <laughs> no oh god uh, 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 i thought the kid was gonna do something cute like a surprise hug or like a uh, boo <laughs> Okay. Can, can I can I use a uh, can I use my monk skill of step of the wind and see Yo, if I can yeah, catch up with that. this kid? Yeah, you can. What's your what's your speed with that? So uh, step of the wind lets me to remind myself. I pull it up, but my base speed is fifty. Ooh, I'm a fast fun. dude. Uh, also, uh, Danto class reveal. Um, <laughs> Let's see. So step of the wind is uh, uh, so I can take dash as a bonus action. And my oh, and my jump distance is doubled during that time in case I had to jump a ravine giving chase. So maybe there's a uh, uh, effectively uh, I can get 150 feet. OK. Yeah. Feel free to Dang. run after them. Will you also make a perception check for me? Oh, no. OK, this could fuck it up. Let's go. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, is going to be all together a twenty-four. Oh, nice. Okay, you big see, roll, baby. Uh, it was yeah. a pretty quick, pretty quick distance to the lake, and you see this child pushing a very small canoe out into the lake and starting to nice. scoot to the scoot to stop at the shore. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I'm stealing the key, so you have to chase me. Uh, and uh, 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 ah. and uh, <laughs> I look at the water and I say, well, you've bested me this time, child, but <laughs> you don't know about my friends. No. I raise my hand and I summon Mordecai. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> <laughs> Drop, drops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like at the end of Lord of the Rings when Gandalf summons the giant yeah. eagle. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my gosh! I'm gonna uh, just I'm gonna cast pyrotechnics behind Mordecai. <laughs> <and> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> just like. Oh. Blue Target. angels are like yeah. oh, trauma. <laughs> <laughs> just fireworks behind Mordecai, just like <laughs> <laughs> I will say you have definitely distracted Quinn from paddling very far. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um yeah, yeah. What what do y'all what do y'all want to do? Are you I don't know. I mean, what's Mordecai gonna do? I mean, Mordecai yeah. can swim, right? <laughs> Mordecai can swim, so Mordecai's gonna land on the water next to the boat. Uh, and uh, geez, I don't know, Mordecai. Is Mordecai gonna choose violence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't have Liz to emotionally bond with this. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> uh, uh, the I guess uh, 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 Mordecai and I did weird. not kiss that goose. <laughs> I did kiss the ghost. You need to nothing, kiss nothing came of it. I mean, I guess we're, <laughs> You're we're just friends. We're, Mordecai also hilariously does not have any attack action. So Mordecai is going okay. to use his only action, which is to honk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do need. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god! I need Quinn to make me a wisdom saving throw. <gasps> oh, no. And. <laughs> If you fail, you become frightened till the end of the next turn and drop whatever you're holding. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, my God. 19? 
19. Ah, fuck. Man, you don't have a goose at all. <laughs> Thank you for not dropping the key into the lake, though. That's it has good. a floaty thing. <laughs> it has a floaty thing. It, You're right. It very critically <laughs> has a floaty right. thing. I thought uh, this through. <laughs> I um, didn't. Quinn, it's your move. Mordecai has failed. <laughs> Wait, uh, hold on. I, I it, Can I go? It, w- would everyone like to roll initiative? Sure, I'll oh, roll yeah. initiative. Let's fight this kid. <laughs> All right, I got a 23. Yeah. A 17. Oh, I have um, this done, don't I? I really don't know. <laughs> 23 for Meadow. Mm-hmm. 17, Sadie. 13, me. Hmm. And 7, Mordecai. <laughs> so we got... He went first. Yeah. It's a silly goose. Yeah. It's just, it's literally a silly goose. I'm yeah. impressed that Mordecai got a 7. In his role, Very impressive. So. Uh, Meadow, what would you like to do? All right. I'm really sorry, Quinn. Um, I'm going to cast... <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Disintegration. Oh my god! I'm gonna cast Heat Metal because I know Quinn is not going to hold on to this key. Okay. Uh, so Heat Metal. Uh, I need Quinn to. Okay, so choose a manufactured metal object. You cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact takes 2d8 when you cast the spell. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm so sorry, Quinn. That's fine. It's, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I also know healing, so it's totally fine. My Please. Right. It's, I only got five. I only got five. Okay. I only got five for little Quinn. Um, <clears throat> if the creature is holding or wearing the object and takes damage from it, the creature must succeed a constitution saving throw or drop the object. Oh. 15. Uh, my save DC is a 17. So Quinn fails. So it uh, clangs onto the bottom of the canoe. Mordecai, get it! <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, and then I'm gonna be like, "Hey, hey, kid, please don't pick that up. It's really hot." <laughs> yeah, what happened? Um, <laughs> 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 we we need that key. <laughs> we'll go get it. Save oh my me. god, this okay, kid is whimsical. <laughs> Uh, Sadie is going to misty step into the boat. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I it's never disappear gonna be the same again. mist and I just and I appear right next to the kid in the boat. I pick up I pick up the key by the keychain and be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold Good. on to this till it cools Good. down. Is that cool? I yeah, no, you're fine. That was <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Yeah, I I don't do it enough, honestly. It's really cool. Yeah. Hess, can you teach me that? I can try. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah, I can. Uh-huh. That's all. That's that's the end of my turn, I think. All right. Uh, Danto. I uh, uh, am going to just stand there and drink from my flask and say, <laughs> "Go, go, go, get him, Mordecai." <laughs> Book that child. <laughs> Doesn't need to hurt the kid. We're we're good now. I got the keys. Oh, Actually. kill him! No, 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 no. <laughs> just, just you are safe. We will not let the goose get you. We're we're not gonna let the goose or the weird man hurt you. The goose is actually really nice. I gave it a kiss on the head, and it was awesome. <laughs> so I did it again. It's just like <laughs> circling the boat like a shark. Can we can we go back to shore now? This was very fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, maybe. But what if? Oh no! Oh no! And you see Quinn's face like go into. It's like just play horror uh, and is looking out into the distance over the lake and they say, oh, the giant lake serpent is coming and it's gonna eat us. Oh, no. 
Uh, and you look out oh. onto the lake, and there, it's just a lake. <laughs> oh! Um, oh, the no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the goose is going to kind of uh, uh, look at uh, 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 you, Quinn, and then look out to the lake, and is going to honk loudly in the direction you just pointed and mock <laughs> Uh, uh, so I, I don't I, I don't know how to roll for the goose honks into the lake. <laughs> the goose honks. The goose honks. Yeah. The honks back. What? Whoa. <laughs> um. So the lake is now gonna take a lair action. I'm oh, sorry. No. <laughs> uh, you see, like. Um, no. <laughs> I out, don't like that. Out in the distance, uh, like not too, too, like 50 yards out, uh, uh, a, a motorboat goes by, but it goes by like really slowly and it makes a really big wake and the waves start coming and they're coming towards the canoe and they're pretty big waves. And Quinn says, oh my God, the serpent's getting closer. We should definitely paddle back to shore, don't you think? Mm. Okay. Meadow, it's your turn. Do you want to make a perception check to see if you see anything? Yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely going to make a perception check to see if I see anything. Jesus! I got a 12 this time, but it was a 2. <laughs> I mean, that you can see a, like... To a seven-year-old, these waves could totally be from some super scary serpent. Yeah. Um, so seeing that, I am like, and I hear that interaction, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I, I play this up. I'm like, oh, no, they're totally right. I, I have to save you all. And then I do this like, elaborate sort of like anime princess <laughs> like summoning thing and i cast guardian of faith out on the lake <gasps> what is and the uh, a large spectral guardian appears and hovers for the duration in the unoccupied space that you can see within range so that's 30 feet out into the lake uh the guardian occupies that space and is indistinct except for a gleaming sword and shield <laughs> can't see anything except a very distinct glowing sword and shield. <laughs> well, it's like... Well, you can't it's, see anything except the thing you say. Yeah, no, it's a guardian, but it's got, like... It's it's just kind of, like, whatever, like, blah, but, like, sword and shield, very, very shiny and cool. Um, any creature, perchance wave, hostile to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the guardian for the first time must succeed on a dexterity saving throw... The creature takes 20 radiant damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful Ooh, one. Wow. Just like flat out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm like, don't worry. I'll make sure that no harm comes to you as you row to shore. Oh my gosh. I knew you were heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, maybe. Uh, is there, are there more than one oar in this canoe? <laughs> nope. There's two uh, life jackets, though. There's two life jackets. Uh, I, I'm i like, okay, we got to put on these life jackets because it is, you can see those waves come in. I think safety is really important. And the Guardian can only help us so much, so put on your magic jackets. <laughs> and put it on. Persuasion and this will be, check. Persuasion. can it be performance? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Okay, does a 27 sell it for you? Oh, God. <laughs> so it does. That is the most magical life vest of armor in town. Yes. I, I nice. am truly not doing my character justice in describing this because I am a bard and a ranger, <laughs> and I can I can paint this picture for you. A ranger. We need this powerful armor. You're so right. Let's go, and we put on the life jackets in case we fall off. Unless you think we need to swim to shore. Okay. No. 
The water is so dangerous. There's a serpent in there. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay. It's freaking Danto's turn. Uh, I, um, how far away, how far off of the shore are they? Eh, like 30 feet. Oh, yeah. Uh, I stand there and, and call out su- supportively. Come back! The, the 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 serpent grows closer. Um, uh, uh, Mordecai, ain't there progress, you noble waterfowl? And Mordecai is going to use his turn to go around to the back and sort of like bump into the boat from the back and just like ah! <laughs> it's your little ah! motor. <laughs> That's so cute. That's we love nice. it. Um, That's adorable. <laughs> okay. It's the serpent's turn. <gasps> well, the serpent. Like that wave's gonna go up and crash into the does... big sword and shield. Yeah, so that's gonna. Does it. Uh, it's gonna need to take a, a constitution. I think constitution? Or dexterity saving throw. <laughs> it's oh, a wave. <laughs> this wave gets a 10. Oh, that wave serpent takes 20 damage. Damn. Oh that wall of water crashes into your glowing sword and shield. <laughs> and for a split second, you swear you see this creature that Quinn is yelling about. And it is <laughs> enormous. It's <gasps> going to be 50 stories tall. Feet the size of, I mean, teeth the size of. <laughs> teeth the size of feet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not teeth the it's size of feet. Scary. Um, and it roars in anguish, but it looks barely harmed at all. And it's going to try to... Swallow the canoe. Hmm. Don't like that. Um. I can't say I like that. I can't say I like that. Actually. Actually, I'd rather not have 16. that. It 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 <laughs> pushes into the canoe and it topples over, and uh, and then uh. That will be, that will be the serpent's turn. Y'all are swallowed, and then Quinn, with wait, <laughs> or the canoe. Wait, was y'all are swallowed. The okay, canoe got swallowed by the wave. Are uh, are is is Quinn and Sadie okay? Are they floating around, or are they well, in the canoe they now? They float on their life preservers. Thank God. Okay, <laughs> so we're floating. And okay, float back up, and Quinn. Um, is gonna spend their turn yelling at the wave and they're gonna say get back you evil sea serpent I don't want you around here no more and they're gonna spit out water at there and then and then uh, and then it's the <laughs> goose's turn and you see you see the little key pop up not too far away Morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah, I dropped concentration on uh, on that just to like make it so that it's safe to grab. Oh, very smart. Okay, um, uh, Goose's turn. Yeah, so I want more kind of grab the key. Easy enough to do. Honk. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> um, bring that to me. Bring it here. <laughs> and Quinn's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for saving everybody. Thank goodness I yelled at that serpent or else he would have eaten all of us. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you for yelling at Tommy him. Paddled yeah. to shore. That hey, was really close. Mm-hmm. You, you want to you yell real loud at that thing one more time? I think you should 
run back over to shore and they're gonna grab some some rocks that were hanging out on the side and they're throw into the lake and it's like back you ugly surfing I don't want to see you around here anymore and then they look back at you and, and then can look. can I can I have the can I have the serpent make a charisma saving throw and the lake suddenly gets real calm <laughs> wait just like that yeah D okay <laughs> well thanks you saved me a spell i mean that was really impressive thanks <laughs> yeah there's a lot of dangerous things around here that you gotta know and you need someone looking after you especially if you're new so my name's quinn and if you need anything you just come find me hey did you make that monster make what the monster the sea serpent yeah Alan the sea serpent. Its name is Alan. Yeah. So did it's you? A nice strong name for a sea serpent. It is. Thank you. He named himself. Mm. Oh, well, yes. Of Me course. too. Hmm. You did? Yeah. Suddenly, that makes a lot more sense, and I respect you more. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna show. Thanks, you to your kid. Room now. And oh, they... um, hmm? can I, can I hold on to the key? Yeah. Thanks. Um, hey, um, uh, if, if you like, hey, do you like hide and seek? Okay. Yes. Okay. Who doesn't yeah. like hide and seek? Okay. So, so I think that if, uh, what if you count, and then we'll go hide. One, two, three. And then I grab the key, five, and like we should get out of here. Seven. Oh, we're just gonna leave them nine, to count, and then they're not gonna find us. It's not fair. They're, they're not gonna know for, us for the rest of their life. They're, they're not gonna, gonna know. It's gonna really fuck it's that good. kid up. 14. How, Let's just hide. How high, how high are they supposed yeah. to? Okay, I'm going to hide. I hide behind. Let's go hide. hide. <laughs> Let's just all hide in the same place so we Let's don't have to make hide. a big thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hide behind Two. Sadie, hiding behind Mordecai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't get back you all here. hide. <laughs> <laughs> the universe starts swirling in swirls of swirls. Wait, and we were behind the <laughs> This is on the universe, not us. Don't, don't see your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame us, your therapist. <laughs> and now you're back in the castle with a key and a goose. Huzzah, two keys. Here's your key. And that was Liz fun. I want to go to the lake. The, walks up the hallway and says, oh. I just had a big glass of water and a nap. What did you guys do? Did it Are solve the problem? Are you horny now, too? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been horny in my life. Uh, <laughs> jealous. Uh, well, looks as though we have one more door to go. No more right. door. One I more guess. door. I see Again, I do not mean to rhyme. That is an accident. <sighs> no, that was, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a reference to popular fantasy in series our universe the fantasy universe there is a place called mordor that's there is a place called cool. mordor oh. it's real and you really can't just like walk in there like no. you gotta like you gotta make appointments so judgy. you gotta make appointments <laughs> i'm going through this weird gate okay uh i don't know there's like lots of bugs in there i can already hear it <laughs> should we not go <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can go if you want. I'll, I'll gonna... bring up the rear. Okay. Shall we? I'll, I'll catch any bugs in my mouth before you could even see them. Don't worry. All right, about it. great. I'm, I I'm open really my excited. mouth real wide and I swing open the As you know, uh, whenever you... I have problems in Party Castle, I'm going to stop using you people when I walk in. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. Uh, so you. As you push open the gate. It has that quintessential old gate 
in the middle of a country or in the middle of a county wooden gate rusty hinge sound like that yes um and you i am going to just real quick log myself out of my roll 20 and log back into the other one so we can make our way downtown um but so you all suddenly smell like just a you smell fried food and sweet sugar you smell uh, you 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 see all sorts of bright lights and uh it, there's just a lot of festivity in the air and there's definitely a bit of a party vibe but it's also kind of stressful because you hear two teens arguing over by one of what you notice is a large collection of big top tents. And you find yourselves in, as you look up and see on a banner in the, uh, in the sort of archway that you have all found yourself standing in, the Shelterfield, Minnesota County Fair. Minnesota! <laughs> Cheering for Minnesota. <laughs> I love Minnesota, dude. I love Minnesota. Um, I'm going to drag you all there. <gasps> Ooh. And hell yeah. So you have now uh, made your way to this wonderful sort of fair area. There's lots of tents with games and. You know, there's there's weird like little stuffed animal prizes at some of the games that are obviously rigged. Um, there's funnel cake, there's kettle corn, uh, lots of bells and whistles from different, uh, you know, just different attractions trying to get your attention. And at the very end, there's one very big tent that's the like the main attraction, but off to the side, you see there is a goblin who is arguing with one very tall, very awkward, uh, Fearbulg. Uh, and they have like very frayed pink hair, um, and they are just a little frazzled and they are looking down at this goblin in front of them and just very unclear about what to do, but very distressed. I'm just like, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And the goblin is like, well, I think that we need to do something or else Mr. Hertheson and, you know, Sounds like it blends in. Sounds uh, like there's a, they're in a predicament. Maybe, like we did with those two horny co-workers, if we help them, we get some sort of clue. I like when you say horny, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Fantasy Sadie in a very specific way. Yeah, uh, it's like, well, why don't you, why don't you, do you, you, you do your, your thing, Sadie? My thing? Your thing. You're a okay. talker. I start... If I need to smash one of them through a wall, I am ready. <laughs> I I strut over there like the st oh yeah strut and strutter I am. I'm walking. I'm carrying a goose. Power walking. Carrying a goose. Carrying a goose. All right. Carrying a goose. Oscillating with every step. Oh, actually, I I moved my token the wrong way though. So <laughs> how, do I, how do I scroll? Scoodle? Uh, I believe you I. Oh yeah. You might okay, have to, I'm there. Yeah, there you go. Like, you scoodled. Hey, what's up? Uh, <laughs> that's my entry line it's <laughs> a great entry line the goblin looks up at you it's like we're having a little bit of a predicament a predicament and, and the fear bulb you says, look familiar uh, well I get that a lot my name's uh, and the fear bulb says 
oh, their name's Jerry with three R's. And <laughs> and the goblin says, it's not, it's Gerby. They spelled it wrong on my name tag. Oh, okay, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> and the furball oh, kind of giggles a little bit like. <laughs> What's up? Um, What's up? It sounds like there's something going on over here. We like to help people. Who I don't wants know. In? I know that sounds shady, but we're we're chill. We're really good at helping people. Are you? We kind of we have a goose. We have um uh I have I'm pretty drunk. Are you with Are you with the animal trainers? Because I don't know if sure, kid. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'm really good with I, animals. Listen, this guy's got a pet goose. I feel like all of us are pretty good with animals. If that's what the problem is, mm -hmm. yeah. I, she kissed I'm the not, goose. I'm not. I well, that's great. Goose. I don't. That doesn't <laughs> sound hygienic. I'm not paid enough to I'm know those things. I'm not kissing you. So what's the problem? <laughs> You're, telling me. You're not gonna get goose fever. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very dangerous. I hope that isn't a thing in fifty years. Uh, anyway. Gonna... Uh, and the fear bulb is like jerry listen you need to sorry gerby listen um so we're supposed to be running the batting cages but well we kind of lost the keys to the pitching machines and uh and you can hear like a little twinge of minnesota accent like <laughs> that this fear bulb is kind kind of trying to like you can tell very obviously trying to suppress uh we're uh we're trying to um get it back but they're um uh they're they're stuck on oh yeah, someone oh. someone played a little prank and uh, turned them on, and we can't turn them off, and we're not sure how they keep getting refilled. That is pretty funny, though. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a solid prank. It's a, it's a solid prank if they weren't uh, really fast pitches, and uh, I can't catch all those. <laughs> well, I think our two problems are quite aligned, because we are also in a bit of a key base conundrum. Oh, well, um, we got, uh, if you can help us find the keys to these pitching machines, I'm, I bet we could help you find, uh, your keys, I guess. Deal. Um, perfect. what are your names? Sadie. Nice to meet you, Sadie. Liz. Uh, Liz, nice to meet you. Danto, Mordecai. Danto and your Goose is named Mordecai. Goose. Goose is named Mordecai. Okay. And you are. Uh, and you can tell that they obviously don't have a name tag. Uh. Jerry, with three R's. That's that's that's, the that's the little one. Uh, but <laughs> apparently it's Gerby, and I'm sorry that I've been calling you Jerry. I just went off the name tag. He says um, Jerry. You you can call me August. It's not quite right. I'm trying some names out. The one that I got just isn't really fitting me, but it's August. it'll work. August. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, if we can uh get these pitching machines off, we can uh get it all squared to uh set. Yeah. <laughs> so do we can we just unplug them? Oh, learned that uh, I learned that from from advice I got recently. It's sometimes <laughs> the easiest. If you if you can approach those things and turn them off, maybe. But uh, I I I really kind of want to keep my job. And if I lost the key to those pitching machines, yeah. that wouldn't be good. Wow. Hey, don't you worry. The right people. There's one you. thing we're good at. It's turning things off. We are the champion of the working the working class. So okay, we're yes. We're gonna and... help you find that key. Yeah, no. Uh, the the problem I is. I shall turn the machines off. Okay. Well, 
You don't have your powers yet. Sorry, he has powers. Is that weird here? Anyway. Sorry? Powers? It. Okay. Fine. Just pretend yeah, we're European sure. and we're eccentric or something. Okay, yeah. You 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 sure are. I'm yeah. Belgian. I believe it. <laughs> I've never I've never been outside a shelter field. Uh, I'm it's, uh, an extra dimensional being. You're extra, I'll tell you that. We're just quirked up, mm. okay? So Quirked up hotties. Sorry, just... what? <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh... it's just future slang. <laughs> you... Listen, if you if y'all can uh find uh find find uh the keys, like look around, see if you can figure out where they went. That Absolutely. would really be great. We will make it worth your time and you being subjected to how weird we are. Uh, I'm going to then crouch and then bound on all fours north to check. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? Uh, you're going to crouch and then bound on all fours north? Yeah, I'm going north just to check. All right. What are you going to, are you doing a perception check? Are you just bounding? <laughs> I'm just bound on all fours. I'm bounding on all fours, and I'm gonna try to get to like here. a dog. But you said, but you said you're gonna check, right? I yeah, do I'm want you to make me a perception here. check. I'm gonna go perceive over here. Okay. I do want you to make me a perception check. I'm gonna make a perception check right now, and it's before my first foot touches the ground. Sorry, fantasy Sadie is kind of quirked up. I don't know what it could be. I'm gonna um, make a beast bond with fantasy Sadie. <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> Weirdly enough, you going like full like in in all ways other than physical. I am a wolf right now. Probably like saved you a lot of time as you go <laughs> to like bound into like all hands and knees. You notice leading away from the tent is a couple sets of paw prints. <gasps> I say, awoo. <laughs> what is it, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Are there keys in the well? No, 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 no. Okay, sorry, sorry. I, I Listen, I was going wolf pack for a second. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of TikTok, and this, <laughs> this won't make sense to a lot of people, but I found some paw prints, and they're leading this way, and I point in the direction. I say, we should follow them. My advanced canine senses are telling me that we should follow these paw prints. Do it. Okay, come along. Um, I get up off of all fours, obviously. <laughs> to look more casual right mm -hmm. as i mm -hmm. also I'm, i just want to make it clear i'm the like a half elf but there's yeah. no, nothing going on except for up here in the brain yeah no it's it's all brain it's all, waves it's all it's brain, all brain waves. waves yeah yeah so i start following the tracks for and sure to, to where do they lead uh they lead right about can you see that one more time. I was in the right here. Uh, it's over on to the left of the big tent. Oh, I'm so zoomed out. One more time. One more time. Yeah, one more time. Here we go. I'm doing one of these. Nope. To the left. No, nope. Yeah, can't it's, see it's it. Genuinely not that's it. okay. Nope. That's fine. Because I'm probably on the wrong layer. Hey. Uh, let's oh, there try. It is. Oh, there. There. I see it now. That was there awesome. it is. Nice. That's where I was headed just on instinct. This really worked out, huh? Yeah, no, you really made the right move. Let me tell you. Because I will. Uh, you see, you see, uh, pop into being Ooh. is a dog. <gasps> Puppy. Dogs. And that dog has two things of note: a ball in its mouth. Classic noticeably dog. a baseball and a key on its collar a key eh i would like and to try to pet the dog liz that's interesting because you're back there i am back here and you see two dogs pop into being right around you oh i immediately want to pet those instead 
they also have balls in their mouths separately and keys on their collars. Ooh, are the keys or balls glowing? No. I still want to. But we still need them. (laughs) They, you notice that there are four dogs now, four keys. They're going to multiply. Whose dogs are these? I think this is a puppy party and we're all in It's a puppy puzzle. (laughs) It's a puppy puzzle. Which one looks the most, which one's the real dog? I would like. Okay, I'm going to need you to roll an animal handling check. Fuck. That's a wisdom save, I be- or that's a wisdom t- uh, skill, I believe. Uh, 11, but I do want to cast Beast Bond if it's friendly to me. It has not shown any hostility to you, so go for it. I cast it. All right. And immediately, I just want to like, oh, 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 get to know this dog. We're emotionally bonded. I'm asking things like, so that's a good ball you got there. Where'd you get that ball? That's a cool little key. Where'd you get that key? I need you to indicate which dog it is. I don't see any dogs. You don't. Well, then I can make that very clear if I. Dogs on the map. Dogs on the the map. map. Dogs on the map. Do you see the dogs now? Show me where the dogs are. No. What? Are the dogs in the room right now. Are the, are the dogs in the room with you no right now? Yet. Okay. Yet. Whoops. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Cheesy crazy. I know how I'll, to make things. I'll wait a hundred years. Here we go. Oh, Awoo. This one. I put this <gasps> Awoo. Oh, wow, uh, there they are. Awoo. <laughs> Awoo. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I've been looking at them on the GM layer. Here we go. They're beautiful. I'll pet this one. Puppy. You're going to pet this one right here? Yes. All right. Oh, I'm in markup. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, well, so you you pet that one. Um, and that one is just very happy. Um, and yeah, he's got a ball and a key. What else about you? Got a ball and a key. Yeah. Uh, the It has not been like... So you acknowledge the key... And it kind of like looks at it a little bit like, oh, that's the jingly thing. Uh, and is more into the ball and thinks about so many balls. Keep catching the ball. Uh-huh. Keep bringing back the ball. Uh-huh. Throw the ball. Get the ball. Keep throwing the ball. Keep getting the ball. <laughs> Did the dogs set this up? I want to try The to dogs the have been... <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I'm going to need you to, um, okay, sleight of hand check for me. Ooh, it's an eight, but I rolled a two. Okay, uh, I'm going to need you to make, okay, so you and this are, you and this dog are beast bonded, right? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm, it means we can like telepathically talk um, Mm -hmm. or like share emotions. Um, Yeah. You, you go for this ball. Like with full intention of being like, I'm going to take this ball and I'm going to throw it so good just so you can chase it. And then it's going to be your ball. again. Right. Yeah. You go for this ball and it's like, going to chase, going to chase, going to throw. And then it's like, don't take the ball. (laughs) It like pulls back a little bit. Well, where can I get another ball to throw for you? And it thinks about the tent yeah. that August and Gerby are standing in front of. Yeah. Um, Sadie and Danto. Yeah. Uh, the dog standing in front of you is my little baby Pepsi. <laughs> is <laughs> it's kind of lowered into a bit of a like sort of assessing situation like it's kind of eyeing you both up like are you gonna try and take my ball what is it doing i don't worry i've got this i'm gonna cast speak with animals on myself okay 
and that means that I can comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. Super. Dogs are pretty dumb, but mm -hmm. know, it's better than nothing. Dunk his so ass, Sadie. I can, now, I can now talk to the dog. And I'm like, hey, what's up? We're looking for keys. Nice ball, though. Ball! Yeah, like, ball. Bu muffled, obviously, but like, ball! No, listen, come here. I'm not going to take the ball. I just want to no, see the No key. take ball. No, no take, take ball. ball. I won't do okay. it. Okay. Uh, key, jingle. Yeah, let me take your jingle, and then you keep mm. the ball. Why jing take jingle? Yeah, they need it. It's like a ball to them, kind of. Take ball? No, not yours. Not take ball. No, take ball. Take jingle. Just come here. Come here. Yeah, take jingle. Uh, comes up and like kind of pulls to the side of you just a little bit. And I reach down, I take the key off, and I give it a little butt scratch. I need you to do a sleight of hand check. Okay. Do a butt scratch. No, 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 no. This is for the key, not the slide, of, not for the butt. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Okay, twenty-one for. Slide oh yeah. Hand. You so I got you the key. you slip that uh, key. It's one of those like keys that has like the round end that's like hollow at the end and has the two little teeth on oh, either yeah. side. It looks very much like a wind up key situation. Okay. Um. So, so yeah, you one. have you have one key to one pitching machine. Hell yeah. And then um, I give the dog a cute little butt scratch. I'm like, thank you so much. Oh my mm, gosh, thank you. You're the best. Oh, oh, scratch. Mm, ball. Uh, and uh, that dog runs over to... Oh, let me get on the token layer. Uh, that dog runs over to its pack over here. And it's like... A woo. A woo, ball. Uh, ball throw, throw. And the other... <laughs> <laughs> And then they disappear. Wait. Oh, I got one of them, though. Where did they go? Where did the other one go? This is why I prefer gooses. Geese. Must must love geese. <laughs> must love geese. <laughs> hmm. Is there well, we have any... the one key. Yeah, we've got one, but there's three more. And there's four batting machines, right? I turn around and I'm asking oh. August and Gerb, Jer Jerry. Oh, uh, yeah, there's four batting machines. Okay, well, did, did you just see ghost dogs? Were they? You I didn't see the dogs? I saw the dogs, but then they left. Like, okay, so we saw the same dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, they They're... like they have fully like disappeared. But you can't, well, like, disappeared from view. Liz, you are still beast bonded with this dog. How, like, what is the range on beast bond? It's got to be like a million. It's okay. Well, yeah, I, need it's to, I need to know about that, though. It's got to be about a million. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> if it's a million, then it's, uh, you, you still have beast bond with this dog, and you can tell that this dog is still around. Yeah. And this dog is now thinking about inside the tent. It's until the spell ends. So. Okay, well, nice. then it's thinking about inside the tent right now. I am just gonna, like, in full real Liz uh, epiphany be like, oh, right, the keys. That's what we were supposed to get. I got so distracted <laughs> by the dog. I'm <laughs> petting it. Um, and I'll just say to everyone, well, they all went back to the tent to get more balls, which, you know, we sh should have realized and i'm now seeing that all those keys are probably the keys that we need and not just decoration i thought it was going to be like you have to find the one key but i think we need all of them don't worry i got one we just need the other three we're gonna be fine well why don't we go in and we'll get uh we'll get the balls and we'll turn off the one machine we can that'll be helpful I hand i'm the key very to good at dodging august here uh here's so, the first one we'll get the other ones don't worry oh thank you Th thanks <clears throat> no problem yeah thank you okay let's go and, and then they like get back put on it all in fours. there okay yep get in get on all four uh, <laughs> and as you as you and you're going into the tent yeah I, I need on the tent because they said the machines were on yeah mm. oh. are they 
What? <laughs> well, I, I didn't remember that, and I went in the tent. So you uh, went in the tent? Are you and Danto? You're staying out of the tent. Well, I'm going in. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And so I'm you're not both... afraid of your of these based balls. Of uh, based balls. <laughs> these balls are not based at all. <laughs> They're cringe, AF. <laughs> More like cringe ball. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think I can say that. These are these these are cringy and cube pilled anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, you get in the tent, and I need you both to make dexterity saving throws Here as I two go. baseballs like come at you. Hell yeah! Save me, Dex. Save me, Dex. Save me, Dex. Okay, Dex. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, you get it. Dex save. That's a good Thank one. Thank you, Dexter. <laughs> that's what I named my dexterity. Uh, is going to be for me. Is a where did I put my character sheet? Come, on, come back to me, character sheet. Uh, that one is going to be a 13. Okay, it is going to come at you. It's going to fly at you, and it's going to hit you, but I want, I mean, you're a monk. Oh, yeah, no, I'm catching it. Yeah, catch that shit. Uh, it's going to do, let's see. It's going to do seven points of damage, so. It does nothing. Yes! Yeah, you, yeah. you fully just, like... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> See? August, like, looks in, like, do you play softball? <laughs> no, I just have had a lot of things thrown at me. If if you want to start up a league or, some, or something, um, we should talk after... Anyway, uh, thank You're you. You're a kid! <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, turn it off if you want. Um, you'll be fine, I think, if you can catch that. Wow! <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, I want to grab the, I'm gonna take the key and go over to one of the machines. Okay. Dodging uh, baseballs as they fly at me. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, go ahead and roll me one more deck save, just for the hell of it, as hell you approach. Yeah. Ooh! That's a natural 19 for a uh, 26. Oh yeah, you are like beautiful keanu reeves walking up to okay. this like pitching machine just like <laughs> like yeah it is, <laughs> it is very much keanu reeves-esque like not <laughs> not even like touching you it's great and uh you you walk you up and <laughs> yeah a pair of sunglasses just like okay. descends onto your face um the but... magic's back <laughs> <laughs> it's getting you there keys, you got two keys you're getting the third um, you walk up to one of the machines. It's not the one that you were standing in front of, but you try the next one over, and that's the key. So you have one of four keys and one of uh, four pitching machines. And as I as I walk back across the tent, I want to just grab up like a big old armful of balls. All right, you have grabbed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you grab a big old armful of balls. You just got a big old. Uh, arm spheres, and as you grab up all those balls, when you know it, three dogs, well, all four dogs appear, and uh, you're the one with all the balls. And I say, yeah. I, and, I, and I say, I, I say, uh, uh, Sadie or Liz, uh, tell the dogs I will drop my bounty of balls if they will give us their keys. Okay, um, I, I'm still good with speak with animals, so I'm going to address the pack here. Say, hey, come here. He's going to drop the balls, but only if you let me take the, the jingle. Throw. Throw if we get the jingle. It's a trade. Mm, and they you get, start, you, like, impatiently wagging their tails. Come here. You... Come here. I'm gonna need you to approach one of the dogs. Okay. Um, Indicate going... to me which one. <laughs> I wanna. I. I would like I to will make say... sure I'm approaching one with a key. Okay. Uh, the the one over here is laying down and does not have a key. So these three. Wait. Okay. The one over. The, Sorry, yes. This one you. is. This one is laying down. Okay. So I'm gonna approach the one closest to me here. So I'm gonna approach this one. 
All right. So that one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be here like right. By the time. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. So you. Yeah. So you walked up to this pitching machine, turned it off, and this was or no, you walked up to this pitching machine. It was not that one. That was the pitching machine. Turned it off. Mm -hmm. This one is still pitching balls. Sadie, make me a deck save. Smart, smart. Let's go. Okay. Come on, Dex. Save me, Dex. Save me, Dex. Oh my God, I keep rolling really good. Uh, yes. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yes. You see <laughs> a uh, you see a softball like head straight for your face, uh, just real quick lightning reflexes, um, and the the dog, thankfully, has its eyes locked on the bounty in. Thank God. Uh, yeah, no. Honestly, Danto picking up that huge pile of balls, clutch move. Great move. <laughs> uh, so, slide a hand to get that key. Okay. All right, hand. These Let's get slight. Yours, doggies. Seventeen, do it. Yeah, seventeen is gonna do it. <laughs> it. You have a little trouble as the dog gets a little antsy, tries to wiggle a little bit, but you finally take that like last little it's one of those like key ring keys or oh, yeah. those key ring rings but you finally get that last little ring of it off and the dog like starts to jump at the bounty of balls ah uh, not yet not yet not yet okay okay we gotta get the other two keys we got two more keys um they're, they're gonna be great it's gonna be really fun okay i'm gonna go i'll i'll go to the next one okay um they the the remaining two so that that dog uh is going to like mm, you said ball yeah ball when jingle mm, jingle off ball <gasps> at all of the jingles i can see your jingle mm, jingle off ball now for one or or we inside walk. check Insight check. Is the dog going to bring the ball back if I throw it? <laughs> go for it. Okay. No way. Let that dog I, go. Just don't distract the others. Yeah. Oh, man. I rolled really bad. That's an eight. This is like Shit. in real life with my dog. <laughs> yeah, no. Can't uh, never much, tell. much like your uh, faithful ranger companion, uh, Pepsi Ann, uh, back home. <laughs> She's not really you're, a companion. You're really, you're really unsure of this dog's intentions, but this dog's really not backing down. Listen, every dog has its day. This one's yours, buddy. <laughs> and I take one ball from Hobart's pile. They all like, look at you. This one is for him, so he gives me the jingle. Mmm. So stay. I'm pointing to the other one that has a key that hasn't mm -hmm. given the jingle yet. Mm -hmm. Will you stay? Persuasion check. I wish this Those was hard. Oh, bargainers. I, I rolled so bad. Okay, but it, it is a 12. Okay. It looks at you. And it looks at the ball. And it, and suddenly, Liz, outside, you feel uh -huh. the beast that you're bonded with. Like a boy. Trying to decide if this deal is worth it. Oh, it's so good. What's a the dog for a bunch of the boys? dog lays down the dog like <laughs> settles down okay good thank you thank you i throw the ball for the angsty one uh yeah so that dog um like goes off and gnarls at that ball in the corner and you are free to uh take that uh key off of the one that you're standing in front of after you make me a deck save Okay, yeah. I thought that was coming. <laughs> Come on, Dex. Dexter. How about a 10? Hey, that's so fine. 
it's like exactly Sadie, I'm sorry. Exactly what you need. <laughs> Sadie, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> you you do get clocked right in the face with a softball. It's happened to me before. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I like it. You're gonna take familiar. you're gonna take eight points of damage. <laughs> Oh, oh, my oh, Christian geez. nose. Are you okay? Beautiful? Do you want uh, any? Uh, think I have tequila. <laughs> I got tequila. Get, get, get the last key before you pass out. <laughs> Choking on the blood running down the back of my throat. <laughs> now you can't take a nap or you might die. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'll die. Is it bleeding? Is it bleeding? <laughs> it is bleeding. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm not going to okay, look. Okay, puppy. I'm gonna take. The, I'm gonna take the jingle now. Just yeah. don't worry about this mess. I. I let me slide the hand. Now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. It's a fourteen. Does a fourteen do it? Yeah, the fourteen you, does it. Okay. Okay. Everybody's getting their balls soon. Hey, hey, you back there? Come here. Come here. That that one. Uh, the one in front of the. So you're gonna stay in place? No, I'm gonna take a step to the side. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm, okay, I'm, just, I'm making very sure. Okay. That, honestly, that was I am stupid because I wouldn't have thought that if you didn't say okay. it. So, so I would just stand there getting pummeled until I drowned in my own blood. Okay. How come it hurts to stand here? So you're um, you're going to the last dog. Yeah, I'm going to the dog that has not given up the jingle yet. Yeah, the one I'm standing like, in front of the turned off pitching yeah. machine. I'm like, all right, it's jingle time, and then we're gonna throw all the balls. All right, Liz, yeah. you can you can tell that you are beast bonded with this dog. Yeah. Like this dog is feeling a little antsy. Still has not gotten a ball yet. Oh, your time is coming, my friend. Hmm. And the dog kind of like offers up the the collar. All right, a sleight of hand from me, I imagine. Yeah. It's gonna be ball uh, heaven. It's an eight. <sighs> Liz, do you want to do anything to assure this dog as it starts to get oh even God, more antsy? I want to talk to the dog about where I went a couple weekends ago. It is a place called oh, no. Dog Mountain. <laughs> Where it is an entire stop. Mountain. Is this real? But this is so real. I was there, and they were having a dog party. And oh, when I say dog party, I mean it was a party for dogs. And you went, and you went, and you went, and uh, at the very top of the mountain, there was a big, uh, I guess you could call it a pond, but it was a big puddle. It was like fifty yards across, and it was just for dogs, just for dogs to run in. And there was. <laughs> Probably a hundred dollars. Grab there. the key. This constitutes <laughs> the top action. You can take the. You can take advantage on this roll. Okay. <laughs> it is All so. Right. This, this is wagging so hard. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh. Does a fifteen do it? Yes, it does. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Last you day. have all four keys. And I, I run back there, but turn these machines off. <laughs> and oh, you yeah. throw all the balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they all like just absolutely grab them and disappear. They are gone. Those are some very <laughs> good boys. Very some good. Sweet boys. Which, which, turn these machines off. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. <laughs> fucking try every key in every machine. Yeah, so, um, the same you. key you, works in all of them. <laughs> uh, August, like, sticks their head in, like, did you manage to get? And as, like, you turn the last key, on the last pitching machine, it like comes out and it sort of like morphs in your hand and no one's standing in front of it, yes? Because it was pitching balls earlier. Yeah, yeah, no, no one's uh, behind it. This I one. might just reply. <laughs> oh, okay, no, okay, fair. Danto, you're standing in front of it. As you stand in front of it, something pops out of it. Oh. It's your shrinking and expanding mirror ball. <gasps> oh. And uh, it's, it's in your hand, Sadie is the final key. Ah, key. Key. Key about the key. Mirror ball. Oh, mirror ball is way better than key. What the fuck? 
No, the, no, the, no, the key is distinctively oh, better. This really just turns cool. into a disco ball. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, oh we did it! Congratulations! There was a there was a disco ball in the, there was a disco ball in the pitching machine. Don't think about it too hard, kid. Crazy okay. stuff happens in Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? You know hey. what I'm saying? Oh, Thousand yeah. lakes I'm and a bunch of weird shit. Way too I'm many trying many. to move out of here soon anyway. Uh, Can't relate. You I'm should. Try <laughs> Chicago. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. I oh, think yeah, I'm going to do it. Do it. Yeah. All right. Well, well, we're in Chicago ever. Let's play catch. <laughs> yeah, no, let's let's do it. Uh, um. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I'll uh, I'll, I'll see you around. Yeah, thanks again for your help. And, and Jerry, never change. Love your name. <laughs> it's Garvey! Garvey. I give the key back to Danto. And I've never been horny once. I've only and been Never horny. change. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye. And I hope this doesn't freak you out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it already kind of has. And I love you. you. Fade back into yeah, yeah. the beautiful, wonderful, amazing palace of Danto Inferni. Hey! Just absolutely just losing your minds. <laughs> <laughs> just. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, as, uh, yeah, so we, we return back to the party castle in the hallway. And uh, we have the keys. And Tonto looks very pleased. And he says, well, I looks like we have everything that we need to get my powers back. Now is it to go open that big door? Whew. I sure do hope something doesn't try to stop us. <laughs> sure. Uh, who would like to be in charge of rolling a D4? Or would you like me to do it? I got one right here with a skull oh, in it. you should do it. It's got a skull I think in you it. should do it. Okay. It's got a skull on it. It's got a skull on it. Here we go. Uh, so, uh, well, I guess we should probably show our hand a little bit to the people watching at home. Uh, so we all collaborated uh, doing these different little uh, 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 scenarios, all based on the previous work lives of our, of our characters from NPC Incorporated, as I'm sure you've gathered. And we all have the decided uh, to pick a boss battle to end this. So I'm going to roll to see which one of the four will be playing through. Uh, after I do that, uh, we're going to take a tiny little intermission so we can get the boss battle set up. Then we'll come back and see if we can make it to that door live, baby. Uh, okay. That is going to be a three. Hey! It's more of me, baby. Hello. All right. So we're going more to- puppies. <laughs> oh no. no. Now we have to destroy the dogs. <laughs> they're back and they're worse. I'm Cruella uh, Pills. Let's go. So why don't we go ahead and just say we're rolling initiative just to get that taken yeah. care of. Right. But any initiative. like stuff that you want to move you we'll 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 turn the boss fight over to you meadow yeah and uh, we're going to take a 10 minute break and then we'll come back and we'll see what happens Ooh. thanks so much for tuning in for this npc incorporated mandatory workouting our return to party castle for our year anniversary at npc incorporated we're so happy that y'all have been listening along these have been a lot of fun uh we've done everything from office shenanigans to boat rides to <laughs> dog rustling and uh, we'll see what happens next uh so stay tuned we'll be back and uh see you soon brb see you everybody, everybody.
Hello. All right. Oh, hello. Hey, everybody. Yeah, welcome back to our NPC Incorporated uh, mandatory workouting live stream. This is our one-year anniversary return to Party Castle. Uh, we just when we last left our uh, party on this collaboratively DM'd adventure. Uh, we had just gotten all three keys needed to open the door to the source of Danto Inferni's power. Uh, and uh, we'll, we're stepping back out into that wide-open lobby somewhere in the Party Castle. Uh, with the sunken dance floor and the large vaulted door with the statues rimming it far in the distance. Uh, Meadow, do you want to take it from here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as the four of us and Mordecai um, descend Kong. into Hong Kong, into the, um, into the, like the uh, indented dance floor, um, Something feels off about this dance floor, and it's not just something about the castle. Um, you know this feeling, Danto, and it's something that you have felt once before and you thought you would never feel again and hope you never feel ever in your life. It's the feeling of anti-revelry. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is, uh... Does everyone feel a sense of being bummed out right now? Kind of. Now that you mention it, I do feel kind of bad. Don't feel like dancing, right? No. Ugh. Well... As you, as you say that, the dance floor opens up across <laughs> from you, and in a pool of inky gray, just the opposite of any sort of fun color these long and terrifying limbs pull themselves up out of the dance floor and you realize that they have been inhabiting this castle and they have these sunken faces and they look like ghouls and they really are large. They are large size creatures and off of them hangs decayed streamers and like withering party hats and these are two woe striders two beings from the dimension of anti-revelry oh my god and uh danto knows them as the downer twins debbie oh. and daryl <laughs> and I, and I, I i call i call out to them say uh what do you two want are you responsible for all this? And they don't open their eyes because... They're being weird. Because they don't have eyes where they're, like, where people would normally have eyes. They open their mouths. And as they open their mouths, you see a collection of eyes. And those eyes are all of the judgy looks that you've ever gotten from someone at a party who just didn't want you to be having fun at that party. These are the party police from beyond. Oh my God. Uh, and as you feel that, like, it's a 60 foot cone um, and you might just be outside of it. It might just be like, I believe one, two, three, four, five. No, you're just in it. Um, as you feel their mouths open and it just hits you, all magic is nullified. Oh, oh no. no. What was the range on that? 60 foot cone. Okay. We're in it. <laughs> um, and so the, the one thing though, Danto, mm -hmm. You don't have your magic back yet, nope, but your I've... your key, that party, that party in your flask, that's still going because your flask, I'm going to say, that's an artifact. It is. Cherished and, family heirloom. And that <laughs> is the only thing that this anti-magic or this anti-revelry field cannot deactivate. And I so... very smarmily unscrew it and drink. <laughs> and they go, 
Rude. <laughs> it's my party. I'll drink if I want to. <laughs> and let's go. We've rolled initiative. It Hell is, yeah. It is currently Debbie's turn. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're being weird and they're very fast. Everyone, get ready here. <laughs> I do check um, check over my shoulder. And be like, did we? Was there a fog wall or something that we walked through? Because these guys are very scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're yucky. Uh, so they can move forty feet. So Debbie, <laughs> Debbie is going to make a. Oh, let me get on the. I know how to I know how to do things in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Debbie's gonna move forty feet, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, no, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. <laughs> I know, didn't I? Uh, just uh, <laughs> I made. Oh no, I don't like you know it. Why? You know why? Because I made it pink. It looks like nice. they just took like a very very hot bath. Yeah. yeah. No, they, they are, they're, oh God! They're, they're here and they're sunburned. They're, so they're the worst. Yeah. Um. And they are just headed straight for Danto. Ugh. Bring it um, on, you bummer. <laughs> uh. So she makes her way over there. She can't quite make it to you. Um. And then it is also going to be Daryl's turn, and he's going to try and do the same thing. Uh, 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. Yep, he also cannot quite make the distance. Good. But, <laughs> like them. as that, like, as that moves up, Liz, you and I feel that cone slide off us as their focus shifts towards Danto and their mouths are directed away from us and that anti-magic falls off of us. So our magic is back. Right. Bad move, you two. <laughs> You're the party. We have to stop the party. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, it's your go. They're they're being so weird. <laughs> Liz? Oh, oh Liz, Liz I think your your mic cut out. I muted there we go. myself because I was gassy. Oh. Um I'm going to hunt back to mark back. this one. Uh which, hold on, let me get over there. Which one? Oh, that would be Debbie. Freaking Debbie, and then I'm um oof, I'm probably gonna have to take a couple sips back, and I'm gonna uh -huh. I'm gonna look in my bag and be like, no, I swear I had it in here somewhere. I'm gonna rifle through. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna pull out my longbow. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. There it is. <laughs> I had. Thank it goodness. I knew I had okay, good. <laughs> I have Good, I'm glad. This is my day bag. I bring everything that I might need. Right. A pint of blueberries? <laughs> a pint of blueberries. <laughs> a pint of blueberries, a longbow. Yeah. And a longbow, and I'm going to take two attacks on it? Well, then go ahead and do it. <gasps> oh, oh, one of them is a Oh <gasps> yeah! Nice. Boo, 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 boo. That's uh, double your hunter's mark too, yeah. I have no idea. Because hunter's mark does an extra one d six, if I remember. I it does. I'm so excited. I'm very so that's an extra two d six. Um, you eight. are. Oh my god! But the other one was a fourteen. The fourteen doesn't hit, but you hit crit. So, roll that beautiful crit footage. I'm going to roll 1d8. And I'm going to double that. That's that's a 1. And that's uh, a ones one. aren't fun for crits. What? Roll that again. Okay, then 5. And 10. So, 10 plus 2 is 12. 4. Um, 
10 times 2 is 12, and an extra 1d6 times 2. Oh, okay. Yeah. So 3, 6, so 16. 18, wasn't it? I think it was plus 12. Yeah. Yeah, so 6 plus 12 is 18? Y- yes. yes. All right. Okay. All righty. So nice. you square up, you take one, just you you fire off one and it doesn't quite make its mark, but the f- next one just sinks directly into one of the eyes in Debbie's mouth, <laughs> which is a horrible thing to say, but you know, it's I really like cool. It. To think about <laughs> it. D&D, baby. <laughs> I I've made my bed and I'm going to lay in it. I'm supposed to try to sleep after this. <laughs> it's a spooky bed. Ooh, Ooh. You could spooky. have fallen a ghost that farts bees, but here we are. <laughs> Wait, that was real? Wait, that was real? <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I was dropping real hands that whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that was just oh, a very interesting I thought, monster. Yeah. Nope, nope. I thought you took what I said and made it funny. <laughs> <laughs> Someone brought up bees and said, hey. Yeah. It works so about? well. Okay. What's the buzz about? <laughs> oh, what's show the you buzz? the icon that I found for my bee. I'm oh, God. I'm so later. ready. <gasps> nice. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's that's uh, Liz's turn, unless you have anything else. Oh, no. That is all I can do. Okay. Well, then. Um, thank you for your service. Th- thank you for your yeah, service, for honestly. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my turn. Um, and I am going to uh, be like, oh God, these are real monsters. <laughs> and uh, gonna, ah, real monsters. <laughs> and uh, gonna cast Guardian of Faith right between the two of them. Hell yeah. Uh, so, nice. nice. Uh, let's see, just making sure. Uh, yeah. Yep, so there's just a big old, beautiful, gorgeous, androgynous angel with no facial features at all. Definitely a little creepy, but less creepy than Debbie and Daryl standing between them uh, with a sword and shield, yeah. just ready to slice them up. And uh, that's my turn, I believe. I'm going to check my bonus actions just to make sure. Oh, and yeah, I'm going to give um, I'm going to give Danto a point of inspiration. Uh, just be like, oh, you got this. Yeah, because I make a have... bardic inspiration or yeah, like bardic a... inspiration. Oh. Nice. Nice. You, you got this. So you have a D6. Got Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, I will take that. And that's my turn. So next up, Mordecai. I want Mordecai to just fly. He's just gonna fly. <laughs> get, get out of here. <laughs> Put him right uh, here. Be gone, right. you. Oh, he's so um, <laughs> Mordecai flies away and. Uh, yeah. Fly, you fool. <laughs> fly, you fool. D- <laughs> <laughs> Debbie and Daryl do not look at Mordecai a single bit. <laughs> they do not get the goose thing. That's another one of their many problems. Yeah, they're, so <laughs> they're not fun at all. They are not into the ge- they're not into geese. Yep, not even yep. like in a fun way or like a like maybe like a cute scaredy cat way. Anyway, um, Danto, it's your turn. All right. Well, I am going to sort of look at Debbie who's charging at me and be like, you don't charge at me. I charge at you. And I'm going to run forward to Debbie. And like when I get to right here, leap into the air to do a flying kick downward. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me that. <laughs> um, so that is... Uh, that is going to be a... You know what? I'm going to add my Bardic Inspiration die to this roll. Do it! Uh, oh, hell yeah. That really improved it greatly. Uh, so that is going to be altogether now a uh, 19. That does it! Awesome. Uh, so that is going to be a... <laughs> Oof. Uh, a 4 
Uh, okay. Bludgeoning damage. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, make a second attack with a, yeah. another mighty kick. Sure. Uh, that is going to be... Uh, ooh, that's a great one. Uh, that's 21. Absolutely. Nice. Uh, that is going to be another four bludgeoning damage. Sure. Uh, and then I'm going to use uh, my uh, unarmed strike to go give a big punch. Mm -hmm. Just really just like, ha, ska! Just <laughs> a lot of kung fu. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that one's definitely going to hit. I rolled a 17. Uh, uh, so that is... Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and so that is going to be a uh, six bludgeoning damage. Sweet. Uh, and then I'm going to do, uh, I, I wanted to actually use one of my key points to do a stunning strike with that. Maybe. Oh, absolutely. So I need you to roll a, con I think, constitution saving. Let me check to make sure. Okay. Uh, to, 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 uh, when I hit a creature with a melee attack, uh, I spend one uh, a constitution saving throw. You have to All beat right. a 15. She fails. Oh, nice. So she, she is an 11. Stunned. So that means every attack on her has advantage. <gasps> and um, let me see. I think there actually might be an additional aspect of stun too. Uh, sorry, I got to scroll to the conditions page in my manual because yes i like to scroll through the actual <laughs> pdf because i'm uh, weird uh so uh incapacity can't, can't do anything automatically fails any strength or dexterity saving throws that's the other one yep uh so then i'm gonna make a fine i'm gonna uh, uh actually expend another key point to do flurry of blows so do additional uh, unarmed strike and uh that is made with advantage with advantage good because the first one was not great uh, the second one was actually way worse. So let's see. Uh, the other one, uh, the first one is going to be a 16. 16 does not hit. Ah, so yeah, yeah. So I, I, I managed to get the sign strike, but then you just sort of, as she reels. Uh, 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 and I'm going to use actually a feature of my drunk monk thing, which is uh, if I hit someone with a uh, uh, flurry of blows, I can immediately use the disengage action. Okay. And I'm going to use it to move right behind her. Okay. All right. And that's the end of my turn. All right. Ha! I should okay. take this party right. castle with my life. He's fast. <laughs> A fast man. Uh, Sadie, you're up. Okay. So wait, this, this one here is stunned? Am I, is, yes, is the one in front of me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So does that mean I can slip by without an attack of opportunity? Um... Let me just check real quick. Uh, can't move. Uh, is incapacitated. Can't do shit. Okay, beautiful. So, so gonna... can't take actions or reactions. So yes, you are totally fine to move past. It won't take attacks of opportunity. Okay, I'm going to skirt. Seeing that it is stunned, I'm going to skirt right past it so I can be with uh, Danto behind it. And then... Bonus action here. I am also. I forgot. I forgot that we were both rangers. Let's. <laughs> we all, I'm just. I'm a ra ranger and bard, so it's just like all bases are covered. <laughs> we know who um, we are, and that's okay. We know. We know ourselves. And I think that's beautiful. Um, but I'm also gonna cast Hunter's Mark um, on the one that's stunned, even if that's dumb. Um, I mean, no. action economy. Take it out. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So. Uh, then I'm going to shoot it with my longbow that I have. <laughs> <laughs> that you just remembered that you have, too. It's yeah. so crazy well, that I also have two pocket. attacks with it. It's isn't, like, that so, with isn't that it. so wild that you it's have like that? You built the same character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Okay, so, so funny. It's, it's just, like, so random. Um, <laughs> Okay, so let's see if I hit it with these weapon attacks. So for my first attempt, my first attack mm -hmm. does a delicious lucky number 14 hit. You also get advantage. <gasps> you do get Hooray! advantage, though. Thank fuck. Okay. All right. Do better. Do better. 22. I feel like it might be better. Ooh. That does it. That 14 wouldn't have done it, but that 22 definitely does it. Hell yeah. Okay, so... That first shot, um, that's going to be two points of damage plus my 
so it's two points of piercing and two points of bludgeoning from the hunter's mark. Right okay. Now. And your modifier? That is with the modifier. I think. Okay. I'm just pressing buttons on. Okay. Buttons okay. So that's cool, so. four damage. Yeah, it's four damage. But you know what? It's better than nothing. Okay. No, hey. Mm -hmm. And then you get another one. I rolled really bad. Okay. You got another and one. my second attempt. Ooh, it's a 24. That's the highest number. That definitely hits it. But you want you want to roll dam you want to roll yeah, again. Why not? Just to what see if, if I you critted? What if you critted though? <laughs> but what if though, right? But what if though? Dare to dream. Dare yeah. to dream. What if? It's something and that world of magical possibility. With that one, uh, that's five more points of piercing. Sweet. And that's the end of my turn. I don't get to add Hunter's Mark to the second shot. You don't. But I do get to have a nice day. You do get to have a nice day, and I hope that you do. Um, so she is up next, uh, she and does. she she does start her turn there. And oh shit, <laughs> going by the rules of Spirit Guardian, since she is starting her turn in that space, she does need to make a dexterity saving throw. And if I remember correctly. Uh, automatically fails dexterity saving throws. Yes. So she takes 20 damage just flat out. Damn. Yep. Stunning uh, strike. <laughs> stunning strike coming in clutch. That's pretty good. Um, okay. And does that stunning strike um, it it, is there like a repeated save or is it it goes uh, until the end of my next turn of your next turn got it all right so she is stunned incapacitated can't do anything can't take actions or reactions um and i believe she can't move either nope all right yeah to suck <laughs> i think um <laughs> but it doesn't say that oh wait no it does say she can't move so mm -hmm. i'm going to read that as she cannot move her head so mm. her mouth stays open and facing in front of her daryl on the other hand yeah Ugh, mouthful of eyes, <laughs> mouthful of eyes oh. is going to turn He's gonna dodge that thing first, all right? Uh, well, first, yeah, he's gotta, um, he's gotta dodge that thing. Dexterity saving throw definitely doesn't. That was a three on the die. <laughs> <laughs> takes a full, takes a full twenty damage. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't stick around forever, just until it deals sixty damage total. But I, don't I mean, one more. Yeah. <laughs> Not a not a bad amount of damage to do in like what a round and a half, um, but so with that done, uh, after that does turn and immediately after that dispels all magical effects in that cone, which does include the spirit guardian and oh. the hunter's mark. <laughs> So stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This guy's tough. <laughs> uh, and after that, having cleared it, it's gonna come after you, Sadie. That's fair. Um, having seen you just absolutely pierce into uh his twin sister and is going to try and attack you good luck all right uh, some good luck <laughs> yeah, why'd you do that what are you doing <laughs> i don't know 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 i fucked up it's these gold chains i'm wearing I oh know. i hold on what'd you i need do? i need to just like show you this i rolled i don't know if you can see that a two a one and a one <laughs> for nice. a multi-attack. 
for a multi-attack for three attacks. Hell yeah. I pulled up nice. the 20 screen two? just in case. <laughs> <laughs> two, I rolled two critical failures and a two. Fall on his ass. It's because <laughs> I said good luck. Never say good luck on opening night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's gross. On that, I like I don't have a choice. Uh Daryl fully goes to swipe and definitely does get Debbie. Oh like oh, at that point, yeah. like <laughs> getting two natural ones. That's a one in four hundred chance. Like, Damn. yeah, that's seven oh, yeah. damage. Feels good. We like seven to see damage. <laughs> nice. Wait, thanks, thanks, bud. <laughs> oh, hey, do that one again. That was great. Stop moving. <laughs> um. So yeah, it is now. Uh, <laughs> God, Liz, it's your turn. Okay. Most excellent. <laughs> um, is does Debbie still have advantage on? Uh, Debbie has advantage on attacks made against her, but um, they can only be non-magical attacks because you are still within Daryl's cone. That's fine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna swoop out of Daryl's cone if I may. Um, okay. Just scoot this way a little bit. Okay. On the other side of you. And I'm gonna... Then you're in Debbie's cone. Fuck. <laughs> we we'll scoot just like a little bit to the right. <laughs> I'm going to hop in your shoulders. Okay. <laughs> I don't I'm know why like... you're hopping on my shoulder. I'm 48, but go for it. I'm going to I'm going to go down on on my chest and I'm going to shoot up between your legs. Okay. Yeah. Out of the cones <laughs> in half cover. <laughs> I I think if I hold on. If I understand cones correctly, I think we've both been caught in cones. I'm gonna do it uh for the flare. Okay, totally fair. Sometimes uh, you gotta do it for the flare. I'll still I, take hey. advantage. But mm -hmm. I won't do it. You, oh yeah, you're shit. you're you're taking you're taking advantage, and I fully encourage the uh, the flare. I just want to let you know what's going on. <laughs> and I do understand that I myself am now prone. Yes. <laughs> it's worth it. Worth it. <laughs> worth it for the flare. Out. Worth it for the flare. Worth it it's for the, the, uh, the twenty-one to hit. Yes, absolutely. Give me that nice. damage roll. Ooh. Oh wait, roll it again just to make sure that you didn't crit thank you um sit sit tight oh my god did you actually do it yeah i did <gasps> ah! yeah oh my god yes that's hilarious second oh, crit no. that's wow that's hilarious. liz in a row that's pretty nice. give me roll that beautiful wow. crit damage wow. I, I, I already rolled so it was a three doubled six plus two that's eight that's an eight as we all nice. know and did the math eight is together eight. <laughs> oh that's an eight we were all gonna say eight is great eight, eight is great uh yes, debbie are. looks bad yeah she God. did at the beginning <laughs> she did oh, at the beginning yeah. and she <laughs> looks worse <laughs> Oh, oh man, I got her man. Ass. <laughs> just awful. Um. Um, ooh, and then I and then use my misty step. Can't bonus uh, action cone. magic. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Done. Sorry okay. about the cones. Sorry, sorry about your cones. The cones of dungeon. <laughs> sorry about your cones. Oh my god. <laughs> you brought it's all about the cones. Game. Sorry about the cones. Next. All right. Um, um. So it's my turn. I am going to gonna go ahead and run uh, just across 
well, hold on. I'm going to run, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, no. My car. 30. There we go. I've made it that way, and I didn't cross in front of anybody to get a... Wait, I could have just fucking crossed in front of here. She's stunned. <laughs> it's fine. She can't take a uh, tax opportunity right now. Uh, so yeah, I crossed over here. Um, yeah, boom. There we go. Uh, I am going to just square up, take a look at her. And since I am now out of the cone, gonna just, I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna just absolutely, uh, just, let's just, like why even why even save anything i'm gonna <laughs> what are you gonna do <laughs> I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna fucking uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking shatter <gasps> that's exciting yeah unfortunately it's not a strength or dexterity saving throw so no. she doesn't have disadvantage but but she did get a five. Oh, nice. And that's an eight. So that's 68. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, that is 22 points of damage to nice. Debbie. Debbie. Uh, Debbie, Debbie. Not yet. But Push she's nearly there. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, that was a, a, a fifth level shatter. Nice. <laughs> so she is uh, feeling rocked to her core. <laughs> Uh, all right. Next up. Oh, and I'm gonna, uh, give Danto another, um, point of inspiration, oh, or another, you. another inspiration nice. I'll thing. I'll take it. Bing. Bonus action. And that's it. That's my turn. Hell yeah. Good turn. Please, please kill her. <laughs> Yeah, oh my uh, God. Uh, well, first off, Mordecai is going to fly over to the piano. Oh, yeah, Mordecai's next. Mordecai to flies piano. over to the piano, and Mordecai is going to slowly start pecking at keys. Bing! <laughs> is it beautiful? Blunk. Bing! Well, I mean, bong. it's a sparse melody. Uh, bing! <laughs> is it like the uh, raindrop song from Bambi? Probably. <laughs> Maybe not intentionally. <laughs> but Whimsical. Yeah, whimsical as fuck. Um, <laughs> And then I am going to, for my turn, Debbie is still stunned until the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to take advantage of that, and I'm going to, follow me here, uh -huh. Yeah. run up, okay. and I'm going to leap Show. onto yes. Debbie's back. Yeah! <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, let's see, so... Fucking Debbie. Uh, I, I am going to, yeah, well, well, now that I'm... Now that I'm on uh, on top of Debbie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to grapple Debbie, just like like jump on this thing's shoulders. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then just absolutely. like wrap my legs around the neck. <laughs> yeah, and, no, I, I want you to do that. Uh, and uh, uh, then I'm going to do a swift, just like punch to the head. <laughs> yeah, punch. Um, Go ahead, punch. Uh, it okay, so that is that is a 19 to hit. That hits. Hell yeah. Uh, so that is going you wanna, to be... Did you roll twice? Oh, you're right. I should roll twice. I forgot. Just in case. No, nope, that was worse. Uh, uh, and that is going to be four bludgeoning damage. All right. Um, and uh, then I guess I'm going to uh, do a bonus action. Well, my first... Uh, yeah, my bonus action is going to be to do my uh, my unun strike. Okay, go for uh, it. That one, good thing I get advantage. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, that was much better. That's a 23. That hits. Uh, woo! Uh, no natural ones when you got advantage, baby. Ooh, <laughs> uh, that's five bludgeoning damage. Ooh. 
And then I'm going to do a flurry of blows. Uh, uh-huh. Just to strike one more time. Whoop. Uh, and I'm going to use my bardic inspiration on this one. Oh, I got advantage. Roll a second time first. <gasps> oh, nope. I'm going to need it. That one was worse. <laughs> uh, so that is altogether going to be a 17. 17 hits the armor class. Oh, yeah. And I rolled a one on the bardic inspiration. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Uh, big difference. Uh, you... <laughs> uh, you hear me like out in the corner, like give her the chair. <laughs> I was like, "Ram, <laughs> stop destroying partying." <laughs> uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, seven bludgeoning damage, highest I've rolled yet. Uh, you on that last hit, like that third final, like you heard, you you heard me in the corner. That was the last thing you needed. Punch Debbie right in the back of the head for the third time. And she slumps. And she uh, oh. melts into the floor. Yeah. Gross, Debbie. Gross. It Hell started yeah. gross and gross. <laughs> it ended gross. Uh, uh, can, I, can I use a, a... I have the feature of being a, a drunken monk. Uh, yeah. Where uh, 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 I can leap if I am prone. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I, as Debbie falls, like leap off her back and try to somersault out of the way? Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like with my remaining movement, I swear, like, I see this happening. I need five feet of movement to do it. And I'm just like, <laughs> you don't want to end up, you don't want to end up in a pool of Debbie. No. Yeah. No, no I've been there. there before. <laughs> oh no. And I went to land just like right back where I was. Yeah. No, Screw absolutely. Up with Daryl. You want some of this too, you big piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was really rude. <sighs> Put your eyes back in your mouth. Uh, <laughs> Katie, you're up. <laughs> hey, I, I have a bimbo question. Mm-hmm. Can I, I have a bimbo a long- answer. Can, can I shoot a longbow at him if I'm this close or do I need to move away? You need, a, you need to back up. You need to back up five <laughs> feet. How close are okay. You? Unless you want to shoot at disadvantage. I don't. Um, you want a point blanker? I I don't I didn't I didn't elect to just take point grab blank. the arrow and stab it into her. <laughs> there That's you a go. Really good point. Can I do that? You want to? Hey, honestly, you can. That is a dagger. <laughs> You're right. I never mind. Never mind. I okay. I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna move. Actually, I'm not just gonna move back. I'm gonna move north okay uh daryl is going to make an attack of opportunity on well, you as you daryl because i'm a i'm really cool yeah yeah <laughs> yeah okay let's find out super... we're cool. gonna find out how cool you are good luck good luck good luck <laughs> god damn it <laughs> yes it worked because <laughs> that is i shit you not another natural one oh, oh. Darryl, i am daryl cool. he's, he's frightened at me Darryl. <laughs> Daryl sucks. Daryl sucks. I'm cool. Fuck you. <laughs> Everyone said I wasn't cool because I came back from the ashes too horny. Guess what? I'm cool now. I'm like a cool. like a horny phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Justin makes me feel good anyway. Yes, exactly. All right, so I am going to. Boink, 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 boink. Hit him with the arrow. So arrow. Let's roll on that the classic. real quick. <laughs> Please be good. Okay, that's an unnatural 20. That Just... absolutely hits him. Okay, I'm going to add my hunter's mark to that. Honestly. I'm gonna All right. Well, one. you are out of the cone, so you can. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That was a pretty bad roll, but that's okay. So that is... Three points of piercing and five points of bludgeoning. Thank you, Hunter. Ooh, Hunter Mark. No, thank you, Hunter. Thanks, thanks, Hunter and Mark. <laughs> My two dads. I love them so much. Hunter and Mark. Oh my god. Hunter, uh, Mark, and Dexter have just really been helping you out tonight. Yeah. Oh my god. God bless my my little my little uh, escapades here. Okay, you and then there's a the second attack. Uh, <laughs> Dose a 17 deaths. hit. 
A 17 hits the armor class, absolutely. Okay, then the second one, that's going to be a delicious nine points of mm, piercing and mm, mm. Um, but That's the end of my turn. Nice. That's, that's a delicious nine points of damage. Mm, 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 like a champagne mm, mm. crepe. Delicious. Like a champagne crepe. Mm, ooh. Mm. Ooh. It's still very fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Daryl is hearing all of this and it's like, Ugh, you're so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I hate cool. God damn, you suck. <laughs> Get a um, life, Daryl. So fucking sick of Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, you think Horny's cool, right? Uh, okay. You say that turns immediately on you, and he, th he says, "I think horny is the worst thing I've <laughs> ever heard." And as that happens, Hunter's Mark is down. Damn it! <laughs> you should have left well enough alone. I'm sorry. I had to be true to my character. <laughs> no, I 100% encourage it. It's it's absolutely in keeping that. this interesting. Uh, he is gonna come after you though. Yes, fine, whatever. Uh, chasing, you, chasing you around the map. Ooh, don't chase me. Ooh. Oh, that's oh what whoops. I run around. Oh, no. Ugh. You crit um, me? I know, no crits. Um, hey, does a 12 hit you? No. Cool. Uh, but those, um, that 23 and 28, or 25 are probably going to hit you, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um. Tell me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. How could this happen to me? <laughs> uh, four, seven. I should have followed 13. God's life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You take 21 <laughs> damage. Uh, so eight of that. Uh, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Um, nine of that is psychic damage from oh. the words "horny" is the worst thing I've ever heard. I actually am. <laughs> I'm no longer horny. <laughs> but. It's like a, it's like a cold shower. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> seeing like thinking about baseball. Seeing <sighs> Daryl <laughs> come at you with an eye like a mouthful of eyeballs, being like, "Horny is the worst thing I've ever heard." Really, just puts it into all, all into perspective. Yeah, that's not uh, good. And you just absolutely get rended by these decaying streamer claws that come at you. Uh, oh. Just barely get missed by Daryl's. Bite. Oh, thank God. Yeah, come on. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Don't bite people. You just said horny was bad. I didn't do it for horny reasons. That's incomprehensible to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's where the psychic damage is. No. <laughs> Liz, it's your turn now. Yeah, I am so aware. I'm going to use my movement. And it's going to be incredible. And I already mapped it out. Yeah. But 30 feet can get me here. So I'm flanking. Yeah. I'm going to take out my pocket knife. Which we Jeez. all know I have. Which we yeah. established at the very beginning that you have. Check on pocket knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in my pocket. It's not in my bag. Yeah. Um, and I'm flanking. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to bonus action Hunter's Mark. Sure. Yeah, it's a stupid little bitch. And now I'm going to make two dagger attacks. At Go for advantage. it. advantage. Yeah. I'm going to use my happy purple die. <laughs> With all this stabbing. Excellent. The first one is big. Cool. It's it's it, it's twenty five. Great. Second one is 
I, I got two 19s on that. Also 25. Okay. Well, the 25 hits. Um, good, 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 good. That's one, two, three, plus two, plus a d6. Five. Oh, wait. Yep, yep. So plus a d6. Seven. Seven. Okay, cool. And um, three plus two plus three, eight. Seven plus eight is 15 total. Nice. 15. Oh, 15 damage total? Yeah. So you did another eight damage. Yeah. Oh, um, I think total between the strikes was 15. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you did seven and then eight damage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Making sure. Sorry. I just needed to. I'm doing this by subtracting and I'm suddenly realizing that I am a bimbo. <laughs> That's uh, I have a hey. mad brain that is bad. <laughs> yeah it's like swiss cheese up here anyway uh <laughs> yeah you you absolutely stabbed this guy's ass like twice like one per I, cheek i aimed for the ass and i got the ass you got the ass you got both cheeks target acquired I one stab, hunter's two mark stab. <laughs> one get stab two stab get, get his ass literally i got the whole uh, ass i'm done you got the whole ass you're done um so now it's my turn um, inspired by your brilliant ass getting. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Just like beautiful. Um, I am. <sighs> I'm just really pissed off at this guy. He's, yeah. he's pretty awful. He stinks. Big he sucks. Time duty. Mm -hmm. He stinks big time duty, actually, though. Um, so... I think I just don't want him around anymore. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I kind of just don't want him to be around anymore. I don't even want to be around him. Yeah. <laughs> yep. he, he, he does have too much shit on him. He got too much fucking shit on him. <laughs> hey, I turn and I'm like, does this guy have too much fucking shit on him? I always say so. <laughs> Uh, it's floppy and sloppy. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> he he turns around. He's like, I want to be around anymore. <laughs> but why? Have you, have you stopped and considered and thought why? Mm -hmm. He got a he got an unnatural twenty on his charisma saving throw <laughs> for, oh, yeah. for banishment. Oh my god. He, he, he went, I want to be around more. <laughs> more. Mm. Damn. That was a good try. Did, um, he turn, did he turn towards you, Meadow? He did turn towards me. No. And now I'm like, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't, uh, <laughs> Ah! You gotta be around ever more. I, I, I'm, all, I'm all magic. I don't have weapons. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> punch people. I, I can't. can't. Have you seen her? She's like a little bunny. I, 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 hold, up, nice like a little I hold up my arms and they like droop. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll kill him before his next turn. Hey, don't oh. worry, Looney Tune. We'll get this. We'll, we'll save you. <laughs> and what's up? <laughs> so, Mordecai, please save me. Mordecai plays on. It's my turn. <laughs> Play it again, Mort. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to run in and do another uh, another big kick to the side, and I'm going to try to kick. This this oh, this character. It's like you're trying to this Daryl or something. Yeah, yeah, he's getting the door treatment. He's getting uh, the door treatment. Oof. Although unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be good though. Uh, oh, um, uh, I'm gonna say for my bonus action, I, I'm gonna be like, "You gotta help me out," and I point to Danto. Oh hell yeah! Well, good. I guess I'm immediately gonna add that to this. <laughs> yeah, that's that oh, inspiration. Oh, oh. 
Ooh, yeah, that is a big help. Uh, that brings up to a 21. Thank goodness. Yes. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Uh, so yeah, I hit. Uh, I'm going to do uh, uh, seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, and also I would like him to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Daryl's pretty good at those. Sure. Uh, it's cocked. No! Oh! What happens? Well, that was a stunning strike, baby. Oh! <laughs> Nat! A stunning strike one. town. Nat, one! <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, Daryl! He's like looking at you and he comes what? around and it's like, here comes the foot to the face. Uh, oh! Oh, I hate that one. <laughs> and uh, uh, then uh, now that I uh, have uh, now that now that I have this uh, situation set up again, it's just gonna be the rest of my move. It's gonna be yeah. another kick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh boy, so that is a natural eighteen. So oh yeah, uh, that one hits. Uh, max damage. Fuck yeah, that's nine bludgeoning. Yes. Uh, and then my set, uh, my first unarmed strike. Uh, that is 13 plus uh, a natural 20. Okay. Yep, that hits. Um, uh, is seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. And you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I'm going to use a my uh, another key point to keep it going with one more flurry of blows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 18 for the first one. Yep. And 17 for the second one. So yeah, that's already two there. Uh, well, one, but. Well, no, 18 was, and 17. I was rolling with advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but seven more bludgeoning damage on top. All right. And All right. Two, two more key points down, but I still got some. Ow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, you absolutely just. Welcome to Stun Town. <laughs> you you speed bag Daryl's jaw. <laughs> <sighs> Come on. <laughs> I've watched Roadhouse 800 times. <laughs> all right sadie okay um, you can you are free to back up and do whatever the hell you want because i'm gonna stay right where i am oh i'm pissed i'm so oh, fucking nice. mad this is so annoying he keeps taking my magic so away i'm done casting hunter's mark it's so annoying he dispels it every time he is stunned now he is, he is stunned. stunned right but instead i am just going to uh while he's facing away from me, I am going to cast Thunder Wave at fourth level. Yes! <laughs> and uh, he, he has to make a constitution <laughs> save, but he is stunned. Is that he still can do uh, it? Or he what? still can because he doesn't automatically fave, uh, fail yeah. constitution does this, save. Does this get me as well? I think, oh, no, I, it I, think, might. I, I think it's awesome who me. I can choose, right? Uh, I don't know. Read that spell no, it's for me. Each creature in a fifteen-foot cube originating from you. So. Uh, totally well. fine. Totally fine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you could. <laughs> it's, it's just. Let's, let's do it. Sorry. I, I, rock I'm like his, rock his ass. I'm just so mad. I'm just like. Sadie, I'm. I'm really sorry. What you're. I. I'm assuming that your save is not a twenty. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah. But you still take some damage. Oof. Okay. You uh, take half damage and you which is pushed away. And I'm gonna roll for that damage now. It's five D eight. Thundy dundy do. That was actually really good. Ooh. Okay. So that's going to be is thirty four. It's gonna be seventeen points of damage. Okay. Let's you uh um four if you fail. Yeah. Yeah, 34. So I 17. take 34. And you also get pushed 10 feet Whoa! away. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, woo. Uh. Ooh. Um, oh my god. Okay. I was really mad. Okay. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'll make oh. it up to you. Ow. Ow. Oh my sorry. god. <laughs> it sucks. And you were put y'all are pushed, I guess. Uh, yeah, 10, but... 10 feet away. Which is not that bad. No. <clears throat> Uh, Daryl like stays stock still, but like just uh, just really, really feels it. Really feels it. Fucking boy! Hell yeah! 
And um, does yeah. that? I'm sorry. I know I get I get two attacks. Per you get turn. two attacks, but not two spells unless you have a bonus action cantrip. Okay, that's fine. Um, or a bonus action that you can take that is not a spell. Let me take a look at my bonus actions. <laughs> I oh. like that. That had a nice like country vibe to it. Um, mm-hmm. I I guess I'm gonna. As an apology, give Bardic inspiration to everybody else who was affected. Wait, but... can you just like hand out like more than one? Yeah. Oh wow! I All right, I just... Yeah, no, okay. Well, I think I can only do one at a time. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes okay. more sense. Who who who's dying the most right now? Uh, probably Danto. I'm... Probably Danto. Okay, no offense, Liz, but I'm gonna give Danto the bardic no, inspiration. Fine. I'm super strong and I love facing death. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yeah. your bardic inspiration, fun. and it comes with a little song and dance, which I will perform for you now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Danto. I did. All right, so Liz, <laughs> I'm Liz, really glad part. I'm deaf right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Liz, you are currently in the anti-magic cone. What? With me. You got to get into the uncle magic. I was magic about to say that sucks, but now that I'm with you, it, it still sucks. What? The fuck? I'm going to... Hmm. I put myself here. I put myself here. I'm going to scoot. <laughs> Boot scoot and boogie. Yeah. Nice. Get out of there. Oh, God. I'm going to scoot. I'm going to scoot to there. Yeah, get out of there. Scoot it there. And so I scooted. I'm mm-hmm. going to... Just fire. I'm going to Zephyr Strike. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. So for Love me a Zephyr Strike. First strike Zephyr, I hardly take know where. God. Mm-hmm. Good thing Do I'm it. super strong and good at being a ranger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we both? A dirty, a dirty little 20. Oh! Terrific. And that was with advantage? That was with advantage. And so I Terrific. 1d8. Mm-hmm. Plus another d8. It's 2d8. So 4, 6, plus 2, which we all know equals 12. Okay. You don't need to do anything. Tell me what happens to Daryl. <gasps> nice, I'm, nice. Okay, so he's like crumbling and I'm like scurrying for my second arrow to attack and I'm just like, where is it? And I scoot into my bag and I find a really long carrot. <gasps> I, I pull it on. Uh, onto <laughs> the arrow Fuck and, yeah. And the leaves string out behind me and I... Whip it out and it, oh, gosh, cuts my arm so bad because those carrot leaves are so strong. And the <laughs> carrot, like, meets this dead, about-to-dissolve corpse, and it just poof, makes it puff into a oh. Yes. I hate nutrition. And so what the fuck's up, Doc? <laughs> You absolutely yeah. fucking rocked his entire world. He is gone. He's dusted. Dusting okay. does not make him feel good because he <laughs> is from anti revelry. Uh, and you wow. won. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank I think we won. Th- we have the keys. Can we go? To yeah, you, you got them, right? Dante, quick, get into the party room. Dante, go! Don't worry, everybody. Mordecai, play me off. <laughs> uh, and I point to Mordecai, and Mordecai starts to uh, uh, play the piano more dexterously with his wings. Oh. Uh, oh and wait, I hold on. <laughs> run forward with the keys that you have all given me, and I approach the room, and uh, there are three big keyholes hidden by, like, 
fun pictures of people having fun. I lift them That's and put the keys fun. and turn them. Yeah, yeah. Fun. People having parties is what I mean. It's like, uh, and I someone else playing golf. It's, it's a wing woman. open the door. <laughs> exactly. Laughing. Yeah, laughing. It's having a great time. Uh, yeah, all the stock image photos of you search fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the doors swing open and you instantly feel like a wave pass over the entire area and all around you you start to hear the chatter of parties going on behind the rooms down the various winding hallways of Party Castle. <laughs> Are you searching for what you get for fun if you're doing an image search? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> too much power. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and uh, as, uh, as, uh, as uh, that happens, uh, Danto turns back to you all and says, Well, I just wanted to say thank you all very much. Yeah, this was really great, Danto. Um, hey, I have, a, I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, uh, which way the Dracula's? Oh, that back hallway, then down until you get to the dungeons. You, uh, you're a real pal. Hey, I'll see y'all later, okay? Uh, Are you serious, Meta? Listen! Uh, I don't even want to get all tied up. Yeah. Listen! So, the mummy wait. is that way. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, we can see I, the party. <laughs> Clearly, like, what you all want for a ward is the addresses of various single monsters you can fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that you is got us. so Where much is less than I could ask for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and, Wait, uh, I thought uh, you've never been horny once. <laughs> well, that's Kirby. Mm-hmm. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But that's a Halloween episode. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, oh, yes, please. Oh, what a tease. Uh, and uh, as you all receive your uh, gift for helping Dante, which we're going to say is access to any party you might want to go visit. And clearly what you're going to use it for is this <laughs> monster dating sim you all want to play. <laughs> and, I saw uh, we're... Hotel Transylvania one time. <laughs> I have uh, Monster Prom downloaded in Steam right now. Yes, let's go. <laughs> well, as you all go for your next scary erotic adventures, we will declare this one shot over as Danto watches you all going, waving, and the goose lands on his arm. Bye bye now. See you next time I need something. <laughs> honk, honk. What a I'm good friend you. you are. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do? I'm Dato. And the door's Dato. closed. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Hey. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. And a big hand to everyone who played and DM tonight, which is all of us. So everyone just start clapping. Uh, uh, we want to say uh, before we go real quick, thank you so much for listening to our podcast uh, for the last year. It's been a lot of fun to make. We're still working on it. Uh, there's going to be more episodes coming as the adventures of the green team continue. The masquerade lunch is just <gasps> around the corner. Oh my god! And uh, also, just want it? it's so good. I Sadie know. put out this amazing green teen art mm-hmm. where everyone looks hot, and June doesn't look like she has nine charisma. So please <laughs> go look at this, like. <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, so yeah, we're we're gonna have that coming out. Oh, we also have a kind of a special thing, which if you're listening to the live stream, we'll get a little sneak peek. Is we're doing another of our classic historic interludes, where we take a little sojourn from our main story for a tale of woe from the timeline of NPC Incorporated. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned for that coming out. Oh, I don't know, next week. <gasps> uh, and uh, uh, we'll keep doing be doing live streams, we'll be doing more episodes. We're going to be having a lot of fun, so we really appreciate that you have supported us. Uh, we want to thank anyone who's listened, everyone who has guest starred on these live streams. We want to thank everyone who subscribed to this Twitch channel, including I want to give a big shout out to IO Netrunner, who actually just renewed his subscription. Uh, and um, yes. also, uh, we had them in the chat earlier, and they have gone away uh crom orc something yes 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 yes. but they are also a recent subscriber as well it was great to see them pop in uh veggie leasy has also been a long time subscriber so uh the the people who have subscribed to these live streams really mean a lot to us and we we appreciate Uh, it because doing stuff on twitch like this is always hard oh thank you thank you so much um 
Also, some other final notes before we close out. Uh, uh, I want to thank our podcast collective, Machine Culture, for supporting us for last year and beyond. Uh, and also want to... Oh, there's that green team picture. Woo-wee. Uh, <laughs> And oh, uh, also, uh, and also, uh, Liz for running tonight's tech uh, for the live stream, and uh, Says and Piku who uh, did the map we use for Danto and Fernie's Party Castle's ballroom. Uh, so uh, great shit! Uh, follow them on Patreon; they're awesome map makers. Uh, and that is it. Uh, you can expect to see this up on YouTube. That's where all of our other live streams end up after they have run. And thanks for listening. Uh, here's to another year of rolling dice and being cool to each other. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Here's to another year. <laughs> if I had a streamer, I would have blown it just now. <laughs> We're still live, right? Absolutely.